and welcome to Jewelry Maker. Lovely to have your company. I'm Vicky, going to be with you for just an hour. Yes, it's not my face you should be seeing. The lovely Drew is coming in. Um, he just, um, he's on his way. <laughs> he left the building and forgot to stay. It happens. <laughs> it does happen, doesn't it? So you just got me for an hour while the lovely Drew heads in. <laughs> to do his job. Um, <laughs> joking. I'll have his life for it, I'll tell you what. Every so often I'll just text him going, I'm just checking you're in work. Just uh, So the lovely dude will join you in just an hour's time. So you've got me for the hour. I hope that's all right. And if it's not, well, tune in in an hour's time. Um, we, <laughs> we have got loads to fit in. And I mean, literally an abundance of opportunity. And I have got some brand new strands. And just to let you know, Drew will be bringing you the night owl. And what a corker of a night owl it is let's talk about the beautiful centerpiece that could be yours as aqua marine these are feature slabs 130 carats in total i'm guessing probably each one of these sits around about well i'd say the average is probably about 10 carats actually a beautiful array of gemstones and that's coming up just just before nine o'clock this evening on our late show night owl now we're going to kick off with our show starter oh yeah sadly limited in stock not so sad is that you're getting a trade show price yep trade show price tag we are kicking off the show with your white acrylic necklace display busts you get three in each pack so you can see here three in each pack these lovely display busts and actually one of our wall of fame entrants today had these display busts and, and, and even said do you like my lovely display and um, we're like yes we do <laughs> um, so it's a good job we said that now isn't it now I've got the chance to give you the last of stock a uh, fantastic deal first time I believe on the late show it does say new today I, maybe that means that it's first time on the late show this is a brand new bundle offer that you're getting so you're getting here all three in one pack. So you get all three in one pack. And the nice thing is, is for those of you who do uh, your, your stalls and, and sell your jewelry and you want to display your jewelry as you, your jewelry deserves, which is of course with a quality finish, then you can do so here, one, two, three in each pack. Are you getting well, just one pack? Oh no, two packs. So that's in total six busts we have for one price tag. This is the show started, so it's gotta be a good one. How about this? All six, you small, medium and large, for just 14.95. I'm sure that's not the price it should be. Because <laughs> I know the price I, here she goes again. Our Dion goes again with that Hello. little silly cackle of hers. When I say silly, endearing. Truthfully, it's silly. Uh, <laughs> 14, <laughs> 14, says she who then cackles in return. 14 95 I've got less than 10 left in stock. That's the way to start our show. Oh, by the way, I never got even around to tell you. I went straight in for the kill on that one. Let's just get straight to the show start. I forgot to even say we've got the company of Sarah tonight. Sorry, Sarah. That's all right. I beg your pardon, I've got so, in, I've got so excited by well, the Well, that's call. it. I mean, that's such an exciting deal. I can't believe that, you know, six for that price well exactly and for somebody like yourself you could i mean the display of your jewelry is so essential to get to get the value for money that people i would say perceived value mm. and that's the thing you've got to display your jewelry appropriately otherwise people don't perceive the quality i also use my bus as a jewelry making tool i hang my jewelry as i'm yeah. making it on the bus to see what it looks like from that perspective from distance to see if it's got the look I want the curve of it as well is see it? if it sits properly That's right. all of those things so it's also a really great jewelry making tool to have that in, available even if you you know you don't even do stalls but you just want to have something to hang Absolutely. your jewelry on and it's great if you've got like me I've got tons of jewelry and I like to have one of these by my my nightstand and I just take my jewelry off and hang it on the bus Ooh. 
<laughs> as she puts on her flannelette. Uh, <laughs> oh, that would be nice. <laughs> a bit of cozy flannelette in your bed socks. Yeah. You take your jewellery off and put it on a stand. <laughs> How glamorous we are here at Jewellery Maker. Uh, we've got lots to fit in and this miss and miss outright. It's going to be fast paced. I am going to get everything that I have got within this little display down here. I'm going to get them all to you. They're all low quantity. It's first come, first served. I shall breathe and then I shall go. Ah, and we're starting off with a little bit of glitz and glamour. This would be perfect for our Strictly Come Jewelry Maker show that's happening on Tuesday of next week. I've already had text message from Mark discussing our outfits for the event. Oh yes, please, he's, please, going, please. he's going all tuxedo on us. Ooh. I know, we, I like a man in a tuxedo. Is he having some rhinestones on it though? I, I, well, I should jolly well hope so. Certainly anyway. a lot of bling. If he doesn't, then I will. <laughs> we have got for you this fantastic, real, glitzy, glamorous, beautiful light play of mystic colour coated hematite. These are faceted rounds in three mil and they're going to really shimmer and sparkle, aren't they? You could do some really nice seed beads or beady beads with this type of a, of a, a gem. Great for the bead loom. We did the last of stock bead loom today, this morning. So it now means that if you've got the bead loom, add to your order cost because it's one PMP for the whole day. So if you've got that, these would be a perfect size. And of course, I shall turn to my, my esteemed colleague here, mm. bead loom expert uh, as you are. Are, yes this they, would be perfect they are I mean and just that array of color just you wouldn't even need a pattern just go to your heart's content with just one single gemstone nice way to start the looming then brilliant I know that one of the ladies on Facebook was looking for patterns and if she wants to contact me or I will certainly contact her on Facebook and give her some patterns as well for the video but this is a great starter one because you can just go and you've got all that color that play of color across the loomed piece and it doesn't matter whether you want to make it two rows five six. rows six rows you will make a beautiful piece of jewellery. Yeah, it would really work well, wouldn't it, when you yeah. see that type of dazzle? You see, two rows would be perfect with that. Yeah. And you'd still have gemstones left over to make a matching pair of earrings. Yes, please. That'll do. Mm. I'll commission that one. Um, we have got this fantastic mystic colour coated hematite. These are faceted rounds. Three millimetres are perfect for anybody who likes to do detailed jewellery, like the bead loom. Yours for the taking for six ninety-five. Oh, ba, 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 ba. it does have that kind of glitzy dance floor, cha 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 kind of a look, doesn't it? It has all of the glamour, but the nicest part about it, you could wear with every single outfit in every single colour that you have in your wardrobe, and it will go because of those colour range. Yours for six ninety five, and straight on. I'm going. I've got queues on the lines today, so please be patient with us. We'll process your call as fast as we possibly can. Let's go straight to oh, oh. Now then, are you a collector? Are you somebody who's looking to work with gemstones that will make your jewellery and your gem collection stand out? If you are, this is the one for you. This is your Andalusite, a polymorph gemstone of kyanite and sillimanite. Both gemstones we had on our uh, show yesterday. Now you get the result of that combination, that polymorph mix. One of the most difficult and and um, elaborate crystal formations to facet but here we're giving you the roof uh, within this lovely look so it's really just adding that that texture and that 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 real unique mother nature's attribute uh, to this overall strand this is a, a full strand that you're looking at here of andalusite these are graduated nuggets they are four by two to eight by five and it's really rather nice to get something that makes your jewelry collection stand out you know it's really nice to have something that is different and i can tell you now if you went to a local jeweler shop you are not going to find andalusite if you go to the likes of gosh i can't even think of where you would find andalusite it would probably have to be a very very um almost like a, a gem dealer rather than a jeweler shop it would have to be a gem dealer's jeweler shop a bit like us really because effectively we are very passionate about collecting gemstones and we translate that into a business that's what you've got here a real gemstone of collectible status uh, named andalusite because it was sourced in andalusia simple as that yours for the taking on one offer it's a low stock again it's miss it miss out oh that's a collector's choice strand for 7.95 that is a collector's choice for 7.95 well if you're going to go for a deal like this one there's no way that you can do anything <coughs> other than dial as soon as you can is a free phone number of 0800 655 or join us on the web at www.jurymaker.com i'm really going to push through these offers now because it's miss it miss out straight on to our gemstone of history um, i had some beautiful malachite uh, this afternoon 
Uh, so if you like the look of this unique gemstone, another one to add to your order. Single P&P &P for the whole day, of course, £2.95, and you can add as many times as you like on that order. 395 carats, it's a big look and a very luxurious gemstone to have in your collection. You've got this amazing shade, dark greens, emerald greens, all illuminating. The banding is what's so unique about this gemstone because that banding really does create its own unique a print to each individual stone. Um, why does that say price slash? <coughs> Welcome to the Late Show. Just welcome to The Late Show. For those of you who have not tuned in before, The Late Show is all about getting those serious deals. And the deals that come here are certainly not deals that you can expect to get every day of the week. It's a price slash offer that we're going to give you here. Nearly 400 carats of malachite in this one design. It should be 19.95, but it's not the price you're paying. This is miss it, miss out, but don't miss out on a deal like this one. A gemstone that has history in each one of its beautiful patterns and prints. 14.95 is all you pay. It's a big one, you know, it's 10 millimeters. It's a large gemstone and it is a real, because the larger it gets, the more incredible the pattern and the print is, which means you're getting more individuality. 14.95, it is a price slash offer. And we're moving straight on to the next deal because it's fast and furious. Number seven is, look at how clear that is. Wow. Oh yes, look at the quality in this gemstone, wow, they are amazing. Individual arrows, diamonds, triangles, whichever way you're going to put them, because you could create, you could actually create diamonds within this design as well, because of course you could put um, them long <coughs> length to long length, couldn't you? So you could create a, a diamond, in fact, right in the middle, that's exactly what they've done. Can you see if I hold those like so? You can create looks like that with each one of them. So not only have you got triangles, you could have diamonds uh, to create on this look. Red garnet faceted triangles. You've got four by three um, in each one of these and it's a 32 centimeter strand. It's the clarity that I have to be really impressed by because for me, the richness of the red often in a garnet, it often is um, hidden or it often hides the clarity of the gemstone. It's such a deep colored gemstone. A, li a little bit like when you've got a bottle of red wine you don't know how clear the liquid is until you start pouring because the liquid when it's so dense you just can't see through it whereas here the nice part about this is as i'm getting a really depth of color you've still got the richness but you've got clarity as well and transparency and that's a nice bonus to this look it's yours for the taking a full length 40 carats in total for one price tag Garnet for six ninety five. It's miss it, miss out. That's good. That really is good. I have to highlight that. I think that that's a bit of a treat. That one. Not surprised that Sarah's giving me the nod of approval on that price tag. It is. It's just lovely. The strand's so unusual to have that shape, but the colour. I'd have the strand just for the colour because it's so beautiful. And against that, something like a, a golden backdrop. You know, oh, yeah. working with a bit of gold, and I think, you know, this could be such a, a beautiful look. Some nice, mm. maybe pyrite or, you know, your spacer beads Ooh. that we had on earlier on today. Yeah. You know, that would really add that luxury feel to. And then, of course, when you talk of Christmas as well, aren't you? And this is such a grown up, beautiful way to do that Christmas colour that everybody loves, that mulberry, uh, that sort of mulled wine look. Nice. It's just beautiful, and it's such an elegant way to do it. And you're going to have beauty. Yeah. And that shape. I can see people having those like almost like little Christmas trees dangling on earrings because they've just got that sort of little shape, haven't they? Cute. And really cute. Beautiful and so grown up and so stylish. And you're going to get that Christmas flavour, Christmas look. And Sophisticated that, look. And that though, price eh? as yeah. well. It's an amazing price. Fantastic offer there. £6.95 is all yours. 40 carats of your garnet for less than £7. Straight on we go to... Ooh, let's go for a bit of sparkle, sparkle. Look at this. Oh, I like that. Oh, these would, these would be good for the Strictly Come Dancing show as well, with a bit of glitz and glamour, wouldn't they? Definitely. Look at how fabulous they are. I mean, they really are, like the dancing disco ball. 
I know, like a glitter ball. It feels like you've got that real light play, a uh, real movement of light off the surface of the gemstone. You can uh, really appreciate the clarity of this gem, but you can then appreciate the, the workmanship that's gone into each individual uh, bead, thanks to the faceting. And these are superbly faceted. You can really appreciate that luxury in a piece like this. You can see the movement of the facets as well, can't you? I mean, imagine that just maybe even a, a nice pair of drop earrings. So you've got the movement of light through the hall of the gem. That's a classic piece of, of, of potential. And that's what I would call it, potential jewelry. And you've got here your clear quartz, twisted faceted rounds there, 10 millimeter, 240 carats in total for one price tag. It's a full strand for eight pounds 95 and if i just move just get look at that it feels like camera flashes as the light plays is, and you know you maybe used a handful of these in one piece of jewelry and you're adding that glitz that luxury to your jewelry but then you want to go out and out in your face come on bring on christmas then this could be the look as well couldn't it you know you could really mix these in and and the nice thing is with it being clear you could put them with any other i mean let's put it against these beautiful um aqua blues that i've got coming up later on or i think it'll be drew bringing you these but if i just put the blue behind can you see how the color of the gemstone transfers through the stone itself so whatever color goes beside it you can really see that gorgeous look beautiful look that's your bubblegum bubblegum so congratulations uh, that gorgeous aqua blue is coming your way later on now we have coming up in around about 15 minutes time i have got this fantastic six mil bundle so anybody who's looking again maybe the bead loom that's quite a nice size of the bead loom isn't it sarah it is um, six mil uh, combination we're going to do you a fantastic bundle it's a combination of carnelian mystic rose quartz there you've got a faceted hematite and that's going to be one bundle in about 15 minutes time that's going to be a treat and a half straight on we go now i like what i've just heard and it was Let's go for some sapphire. Oh, all right then. <laughs> Take my arm and put it behind my back if I have to. Um, <laughs> saf ah, big sapphire as well. Well, I've not seen this before. I've never seen us do this. This is first time on The Late Show. <clears> and <throat> we're bringing you some cracking quality sapphire here. A culmination of your blues, pinks, yellows and greens and what a fantastic look we have got i mean if i just put this against that i mean you wear a piece of jewelry like this you are making a statement piece of jewelry without a fact i mean no hesitation this is a gemstone that has incredible regal status a gemstone that has incredible prestige and you've got it as a collector's choice offer but without a collector's choice price tag, really. I mean, normally sapphires of this, this kind of quality and size as well, you know, look at the size of these sapphires. What would you expect to pay? 50 plus? 40? How about less than 30? Yep, collector's choice offer, an amazing opportunity. These are genuine sapphire, of course, that's, this birthstone right now, sapphire is September's birthstone, so this would be a fantastic treat. And it's yours for the taking, flying out. I have to say, I don't think this is gonna hang around. I think this might be a sellout, 29.95. Big sapphire. They're, they're enormous. Aren't they? And you know, it's such a treat to have such a rare gemstone in such a size. And you could just put one of those on a head pin, make a pair of earrings, a little chain drop. Yeah and they would look amazing and they've got pairs of colors on there so you'll be able to pair a couple of those up yeah. and then make yourself a beautiful bracelet to match it's such a beautiful strand and i would be buying more than one of those because i think only having one strand of those would never be enough in my collection i would want to have more because i would want to use some for me 
and then possibly some to sell on. And that's the thing is, is that yeah. when you get when you wear jewellery of this kind of <coughs> calibre, first of all, people will surmise that you've bought it rather than made it because it's sapphire, and people Definitely. probably in general. I'd like to think that we're trying to book the trend a little bit, but in general, people think if you're making jewelry using synthetics, let alone working with top grade gemstones mm. like sapphire, That's and it. then once they then realize that it's genuine sapphire and that you have made it, they'll go, can you make me one? You know, that'll be the next question to be asked. Yeah. So you may as well have another strand put to one side, ready for mm. that, you know, almost commission piece that is definitely gonna happen when you then have that conversation. And it'll be somebody, I'm sure it'll probably be somebody who goes, well, you made that. Yes. You know, that moment where you go, yeah, I did. I know, and you know, the comments you get from pieces of jewelry you make and you wear out, and I often wear a statement piece going somewhere and people will stop you and say where did you get that from and you can say well I made it and they like look at you as if to say really you yeah. actually made that and it's quite often um, the wire work pieces or you know heavily beaded pieces and they're the, they're the ones that people stop you for because they're unusual they might be unusual colors that they've not seen put together they might be an unusual design they've not seen before and that's how I get a lot of commissions I get a lot of people stop me and say well where did you get that from when you say I made it they say oh do you have a website or do you have an yeah, email address or whatever so do wear your jewellery because that's a good way of getting commissions absolutely especially when it's sapphires when Definitely. you've got such a prestigious sapphire straight on we go to oh some nice nude colours nude and I like the shimmer of these oh I like that oh that's really funny because both girls have just gone oh they're nice <laughs> you know they're, they're really <laughs> feminine with a bit of a shimmer Mike's giving me the nod as well see look at that Mike knows what we girls like you see he's gone yeah it's a good that's 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 a good one you got here 240 carats of sunstone in these puffy coins these are 15 millimeter in size and what I have to highlight is the sunstone adularescent like quality is beautiful almost like a pearlescence you see there really shimmering away beautiful beautiful qualities and that optical impact that you're having here you know that visual indiv individuality to the zone makes it such a beautiful not just visual but actually it feels really nice because it's really smooth really smooth quite satinish almost so you've got here 240 couches of your sunstone these are your puffy coins and one price tag Pearlescence just catching the light, some, something uh, really special about these. Well, they're not going to hang around, are they, at that price tag? <laughs> well, they're not, though, are they? They're not going to leave me any of those, are they? They're beautiful. Yeah, you've got to look in. Sorry, Sorry Sarah. Sarah. Never mind. Um, they are such a pretty... And when you think that, obviously, our, our lovely girls in our gallery right now, our Claire and our Dion, they see a lot of gemstones and they see a lot of different strands. And when they go, oh, that's nice, that obviously says, oh, that's something a little bit different. That's not something that you see every day. And I think that's what you want for your jewellery. You want something different, don't you? Let's go straight on to... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, I like these. Tell you what these look like. They look like the kunzite that I sold today. They have some of, a bit, I mean, obviously more purple, but actually, you know, has definitely some of those, like, those colour textures uh, of, of kunzite. Of course, kunzite has phosphorescence. That's where the purple comes from, and it's a base of pink, where these, of course, are your main base of purple. Now, these are pretty much as clear as you'd ever want amethyst to be within uh, a, a genuine gemstone you still want them to have some texture so you know that the real deal rather than you know I'd suggest you know for me I'm thinking if it's synthetic it probably has no internal qualities at all whereas if it's a genuine gemstone that's when you know that you're getting something special now I said the word special there and I'm going to stick with that word special when I tell you that this is going to be a very special price tag because we are going to take this to lowest 
ever price tag. You've got a price slash coming your way. It's amethyst in these lovely softer tones, much more of the, the lavenders, the lilacs, the delicate qualities. I'd call it almost Rose de France amethyst, to be honest, because of that softness of, of tone. And here you've got a nice range in size, nine by six to 24 by 16. Heck, that's a big one to the center, isn't it? 24 by 16, lovely clarity, but still with that internal texture that's just made, no, you know it's a real gemstone, and that's important too. But you know that you watch your jewelry maker when you see prices like this next one. How about a 280 carat amethyst for just, well, for just 19.95? Well, that's the price it should be, but it's not the price you're paying. In fact, the 19.95 is the price that it has been. How about we go from double figures to single figures? From 1995, we are pretty much halving that price tag. 9.95 is all you pay. Yep, take a look at that. It is less than 10. But look at the size. Look at the quality. Look at the luxury. I mean, Rose de France like qualities of soft tones, and yours for the taking for 9.95. Oh yeah, we are pushing those boundaries with those kind of prices. 9.95, half price though. Amazing, and the quality. The absolute glow from over here. And I'm quite a long way from that strand. Mm -hmm. And the, oh, just the absolute radiance and glow. And if you're wearing that round your neckline, whether it be a little black dress piece or whether you're just having one on the end of a chain as a pendant, beautifully wire wrapped, it's going to be a stunning, mouth-dropping piece of jewellery. It's going to get you noticed, no matter where you wear that. That is beautiful. And the thing is, is, is that it's, it is something that you know you're going to be able to wear. You know, it's not just <coughs> going to be a gem strand that's going to sit there. Actually, it's going to be jewellery that you're going to make and wear. And that is so important. Part of my, my, my mm. biggest thing about when you're making jewellery is, is make jewellery to enjoy it and wear it. You know, enjoy the, the chance of working with these pieces, but then enjoy wearing them as well. 9 95 that looks like that's going to be a sellout deal. Straight to... Oh... Hang on, hang on. Oh. Oh, that's. Oh, I've never felt this before. Because this looks like. I don't know what this is. Ah. I didn't know that. I've never. Uh, well. You know when you pick something up and you go, well, it should feel quite metallic and should have a weight to it. It has, you know, you expect because of the metallic mm. look of them. Yeah. Actually, it's coated tiger's eye. Oh, so it'll be a lot lighter than you totally. expect. Totally. Mm. Yeah, because of course, pyrite and hematite, oh. even when coated, have a real like kind of quite a, a dense yeah. feel about them. You know, and a, and a noise as well. It's not just like the look of them or the feel of them. It's the noise. You know, they have that that metallic edge to them. Here. Not so much because it's tiger's eye. Wow, okay. We have got coated tiger's eye for you. A beautiful feature, 18 centimeter strand, seven millimeter in each one of those. And let's drop that price straight away to 6.95. Straight to 6.95. What an opportunity, coated tiger's eye. If you wanna join us, yours for the taking, go, go, go. Straight on we go. To straight to here. Now these are going to go a long, long way. These are going to make a lot of jewellery because each one of these is effectively a solitaire ring. Each one of these could be a centrepiece to your hand. Each one of these could be a centerpiece to your to your earrings, to to your neckline, because they are faceted. They are quality gemstones. If I hold them like so, you'll really see their beautiful, beautiful attention to detail. They are pretty, aren't they? Look at how well they've been faceted. You can really see the luxury. And of course, if I just take that one there and pop it on the hand. Look at that. Well, that, that I feel like I need to get engaged. I feel like somebody <laughs> needs to propose to me. Will you marry me? Oh, I will. Why, thank you. <laughs> That's obviously when I lived in uh, the heart of Tennessee. 
Was that a Tennessee accent? I've no idea. Why, thank you. I will. It's a bit sort of uh, gone with the wind. That was what I was thinking of. Yeah. That's what, that was the, the, that was the, I, I, I even imagined myself <laughs> with a bonnet. Oh. Yeah. And then he turned around and went, well, frankly, my dear, I <laughs> don't give a damn. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> that was it. I was there. It was my Mills and Boone moment there, wasn't it? <laughs> You've got the chance to get that Mills... Well, I tell you what, you could have multiple Mills and Boone moments with this because you've got so many of these beautiful gemstones in one strand. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six. <coughs> oh, my goodness me. Twenty-eight solitaires. That's twenty-eight Mills and Boone solitaire rings you could be having there. Absolutely magnificent. Hot pink, oh, I'd call them more dusky pink, to be honest. A dusky pink quality to these color-coated quartz. They graduated faster to drops. They're seven to 11 millimeter and 18 centimeters uh, in the strand. 26 in total, or did I say 28? I can't remember whether I said 26 or 28. Isn't that dreadful? 28. 28. Yeah. 28 faceted in this strand of course you could get more you might get less so let's work on the principle of 26 so even if I said each one of these were a pound 26 pounds I think that that's fair each one of them a pound each one of them could create a beautiful solitaire ring that could be easily couldn't it easily a great looking piece of jewelry what about if I said each one of these nowhere near a pound what about if I said each one of these less than 50 pence each? There you go. That's why you watch The Late Show. You watch because we could do prices like this one. 26 feature faceted gemstones. I'll show you them all and yours for the taking. 11.95 for the strand. There's around about 26 to 28. Let's work on the minimum rather than average. So 26 if we work on that you've got on this one strand. Therefore means less than 50p. It's got to be around about the 45 pence for each one of these. That's pretty impressive. You've got to agree. That's 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 us really coming into our own for pricing. Eleven pounds ninety-five is all you pay. Congratulations to you. Magnificent deal there. It's time for the showstopper. We are bringing you a fantastic bundle as our first showstopper and you can see a combination of your carnelian, your beautiful mystic rose quartz, you've then got jasper, hematite and I really like this mix of totally different gemstones. Each one of them absolutely unique in its colour and its formation but the nicest part about it is as they'll all work together thanks to the size. A combination of 100 carats of mystic quartz, uh, that's your rose quartz. You've then got your carnelian and your hematite, Botswana agate, green agate and your picture jasper. These are quite tremendous really, what a lovely and workable. That's the important thing about six millers is that they have the chance to be spacer beads yeah. but they also have the chance to be a feature bead as well aren't they, they're, you know they're diverse. They are and they're such an easy gemstone to work with being around and they're all uniform shape and size so they're really easy to do sort of things like your beady beads with, they're really easy to work your loom if you want to uh, put beads into your kumihimo, um, do them down the centre of the kumihimo. Um, brilliant for that they're great if you want to add them think into the center of a viking weave piece you know and put them through the core of the viking weave yes it's great for that as well and having that uniformity makes life so much easier when you've got a pattern in your mind if you've got like a quadrant reeve or you've got a particular weave in mind if you've got all the beads of a uniform shape and size it makes those weaves beautifully yeah easy. it just almost makes life easier doesn't yeah. it and they're just a, they're a stock size six mils of stock size it's what i call you know sort of bread and butter of, of jewelry making it's kind of what you need yeah to make it to make jewelry looking good mm. you need that kind of size working on your side don't you, you do and you need it in lots and lots of different colors because it's the one you'll reach for all the time so you might have feature pieces and these are going to maybe make the back of the neckline or you know maybe not maybe just be sort of in the mix if you like 
with the other gemstones. But there again, you might want to take one of those strands and make a real feature piece out of them, do a lot of wire work with them, yeah. and you know, make a real feature pendant, and they'll work for that as well. There's a diversity to be had from this strand bundle. These are your super sixes. <coughs> it's your super six bundle with your rose quartz. You've got carnelian, hematite, Botswana agate, green agate, and your picture jasper all together for one price tag. Six strands for less than £2.50 a piece. Each one of these strands coming in at less than £2.50. Genuine gemstones all the way, of course. Let's not underestimate that. And it's yours for the taking. It's 14 95 It's going to be a very popular. Anybody who's looking to, to make jewellery, go further. Anybody who's looking for their jewellery to really have a substantial feel, but not too heavy, too weighty, these are the gemstones that will really work on your side. And, of course, it's nice to have a stash that has that diversity to it. Nice to have a, um, a bundle of, of strands like this, which will really really work with a variety of different looks and different uh, styles that you're wanting to achieve from your jewellery. £14.95 is all you pay. Congratulations. 0800 644. 655 is your free phone number that you need to dial. If you want it, you've got to come and grab it on that phone line or, of course, alternatively, you can join us on the web at www.jewelrymaker.com. These are the times to do it now. On offers like this one, just do it now. It's easier to do that. Yours for the taking. £14.95. Now then, coming up just before the end of this hour, we are bringing you here a combination of opportunities. We're going to bring you some uh, tools for the trade, and these are our professional tools, which will really give you the, the opportunity to work uh, and create top quality jewellery. Now you've got your uh, jumpering coil cutting pliers. You've then got your first step looper. And you've got your, uh, I think these are pretty new actually, these are your comfort grip chain nose pliers as well. So you've got all of these coming together, tools for the trade, get that professional finish to your jewellery, and all for one price tag, and that price tag is going to be a show-stopping deal in around about 20 minutes time, just 20 minutes. But before that, got plenty more miss it miss out so let's just crack on with some more great deals Ooh. well I've never seen this before they are fab This is, I know, everybody said exactly the same and I didn't want to say it because I thought, oh, they're just going to think that I'm, I'm, I'm just can't think of anything else to say. But everybody said exactly the same thing. This is so strictly. It looks like the glitter ball. It literally <laughs> does look like the glitter ball dancing away there. Oh, yes. It has, it has a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of sparkle. Tina Sparkle, you know, Tina Sparkle. You have there dancing in the light, a beautiful piece. For anybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about, uh, there's, a, there's a film, Strictly Ballroom, it's called, it's set in Australia, and there's a lady called Tina Sparkle. Tina Sparkle, and she talks like that, and I'm Tina Sparkle. She's got this huge <laughs> fan of hair, and it's got this beautiful diamonds all the time. And um, yes, it's a it's a great film. It's very tongue in cheek, but it's a very fun film. And uh, so I can't I can't even think of Strictly Come Dancing without. And when I say the word sparkle, I always and literally I can't say the word sparkle, which is kind of one of my trade names. I have to use the word sparkle quite a lot. Um, I can't say sparkle without going, Tina Sparkle, in my head. And sometimes I verbalise it just by accident. Watch, that, watch this, look at this sparkle. Tina Sparkle. That's, <laughs> that's what my brain does every time I say the word sparkle. I know. Tina it's Sparkle. Just... Um, beautiful. Yeah, I've got that, you've got that Tina Sparkle look. You've got that glitz and that glamour. But some of them, some of them just like small little glitzy pieces and then others a little bit more dramatic. I think they're like uh, almost Christmas baubles, aren't they? They, they are sparkly. They're, I've never seen these before. They're really smooth, which is quite nice. You know, when you've got a little bit of texture like that, you've also got some really nice smooth qualities. These are your grey druzy agate. Grey, I'd call them silver actually. Much more silvery, aren't they? Glitzy silvery. Uh, these are your plain rounds. Not really that plain because they glitz and dance all in the light. And they're yours, 10 millimetre in size for one price tag. I think that's good too, Claire. Claire's going, oh, I think that's good. Tina Sparkle would be very happy with that. 
Uh, you've got the 795. Beautiful, beautiful look. I don't think I've uh, I've seen this, but well, no, I wouldn't. I would remember this kind of strad. We haven't had that much druzy recently, though, have we? So it's quite nice to have it now. It's been very sort of you know uh, sparse and scarce. Scarce. Sparse. sparse and scarce. <laughs> <laughs> the two words got muddled up. Sparse. Yes. Um, but but it, yes, I, it has. I just love druzy. I just love that fact that it's sort of nature's sparkle. It's not being faceted in there. It's not being. Yeah. Yeah, added afterwards right. it's not a coating it's just there through sheer nature and I just love the fact that you can see it sort of almost like the host rock type essence yeah of it and you know people really understand that that's a real gemstone when you see things like geodes when you go abroad and you go to some, some shops and they're selling the geodes people know those are gemstones yeah. and when you can actually show them that in a bead that's amazing yeah and there's, there's the reality that mm. it is a genuine gemstone that you're wearing and creating with seven pounds 95 is all you pay if you want to join us you could do so on those phone nights because don't, don't forget you can join us on the web as well you're you're buying can be on both on both mediums um, and the nicest part about it is, is it's one pmp for the whole day so if you've already bought from me today you can now add to your order and keep on going through let's go straight to ah now i was just researching this gemstone interestingly enough if you went to the Grunsgewölbe, um, which is a museum over in in germany it houses did you like the did, was that a good accent yeah Grunsgewölbe. Good, wasn't it? I even had the because <laughs> I always think they're German. I know my accents have been quite good today, considering when normally when I do an accent, I just sound like the Godfather, no matter what. I can do a Geordie accent, or I can do uh, I could do some kind of cowboy accent, and they'll all sound like I'm the Godfather. You disrespect me? You disrespect my family? That's as close as you get to the go. But they all sound the same. Either way, I was researching this gemstone because if you went to the European Museum of Fine Relics and Featured Jewellery, which is the Grunsgewölbe, which is known as the Green Vault in Germany, this is a gemstone that features heavily because when you go back in time, this is a very, very prestigious gemstone for the hierarchy, for, for, for kings and queens throughout the lands. Um, quite simply, especially in Europe, this is the gemstone that said, I've got money. Carnelian was one of the biggest gemstones in the Victorian era. I keep heading back even further into time. Excuse me. This gemstone really is a feature to to some of the most impressive pieces of jewellery within within that kind of hierarchy of of jewellery. So if you want to have that that feature of quality, if you love that opulent feel about it, well, Carnelian is certainly the strand for you. <coughs> Beg your pardon. You have here 220 carats of your carnelian. It's a corner drilled cubes and they're eight millimetre in size and only one price tag to pay. It is a price, it is a price slash. I tell you what, I said that without actually thinking because I went to verbalise it is a price slash and then I got halfway and went, oh, I'm about to say it's a price slash. It is a price slash, therefore $8.95 is not the price you're going to pay. That's a lot of carnelian for one price tag that's not $8.95. So if it's not eight and the price slashes have got to go down rather than up, $7.95? No, our Dion doesn't do that kind of price slash. She just doesn't do it, even though she probably shouldn't even price slash. She wouldn't just price slash by a pound. Yeah. Get it down. Six pounds ninety-five is all you pay. This is miss it miss out, so it's a limited availability. If you like the look of it, you've got to buy it now. An amazing opportunity. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five is the number to dial. You can join us on the web, as I say, www.jurymaker.com. Uh, and don't forget, 30-day money-back guarantee with all of our pieces. So 30 days to, to see what you what you think of the Jury Gemstones. If it's not right, you send it back. The money goes back into your account. Right. Let's go. Mm. Very ethereal. Very ethereal indeed. Um, we've often seen our rainbow moonstone at the moment in every other shape other than just plain rounds. It's like we've seen it, let me do it this way. It's like we've seen it in drops, we've seen it in ovals, we've had it in rice beads, we've had it in slabs, we've had, we've had everything but the classic rounds. 
and I don't know why it's just perhaps it's just how it comes it's just how our buying power you know brings in what we can and when we can um, so it's rather nice just to get the classic would go nicely if you got that six mil bundle uh, if you got the showstopper six mil bundle this would be a nice way to add because these are six mils too and it's rainbow moonstone that you're going to get here of course always renowned for its incredible sheen and shiller and almost ethereal like qualities unfortunately it's a low stock offer it is a limited available opportunity that you're going to get i only have a double figure quantity of no that's never going to be enough to go around okay let me just let me just highlight that this really is going to be that's the words miss it miss out the quantity says that if you don't buy now then you're probably not going to see this again six mil rainbow moonstone quantity certainly not going to be enough for this gemstone it's one of our real popular pieces and it's yours for the taking and oh, that's definitely why it's not going to hang around. It's definitely not hanging around. Yours for the taking for £6.95. Beautiful ethereal qualities. You do get those nice blue tones that just sit off the surface of this gemstone. Uh, oh, you can really see that going through there as the light catches. Just gorgeous here. £6.95. Really exciting qualities. That really is. And let's not forget that we're in studio lighting right now, which never does our gemstones any justice at all. Like it's very frustrating on my behalf. Very frustrating on my behalf that, you know, the thing is, is that lots of people will often say, well, she would say that. She has to say that. The facts are, is, is that if you weren't getting quality when you got it home, and with a 30 day money back guarantee, you were sending it back every time, we'd be out of business. That's it, we'd be out of business because we give you the plenty of time to say, actually, I don't want that, thanks very much, give me my money back. And we go, all right, there's your money back. So effectively, we'd be out of business. So if the quality wasn't there, and it's always nice to get at home and have that security of knowing if it isn't right for you, for whatever reason, you can send it back. But in reality, our returns are minimal, and I mean genuinely tiny returns because the quality's there the price is there and you've got that trust in knowing that you're getting you're getting something that is genuine and many people are, I often say to us you know how do I know if I buy elsewhere if it's a genuine gemstone and the answer is well, unless they can prove it with a certificate of authenticity, unless they can guarantee that they've got the likes of gemologists or laboratory tests, any of those things, then you can't. You know, you simply can't guarantee that something is something unless you've got that kind of backup, and we do, which is why you buy from us. 6 95 is all you pay. Congratulations. Straight to amethyst. Oh, yes. Oh, it's almost like a little bit of a bicolor amethyst, isn't it? It's got that nice split to its coloring. You have here 100 carats of amethyst. It's just small nuggets, 10 by 8 to 15 by 6 millimeter, 100 carats in total. And here you've got your small nuggets. I like those colors. Lovely deep purples, really, really rich colors. One price tag. And it's yours for $7.95. Amethyst for $7.95. If you do want to join us let me just hold it like this so you can see it against the wrist and, and see where it belongs really which is right there looking good 795 100 carats of amethyst for 795 it's a go 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 and if you do want to join us now's the time to do so congratulations amethyst it's yours for 795 straight on to ah uh, wow oh they're rather nice aren't they they are rather nice. Yes, please. They are nice, aren't they? Wow. I wouldn't say no to those. <sighs> They're amazing. You've got your blue color coated quartz. These are graduated faceted nuggets. They're 10 by 7 to 15 by 10. So it's actually quite a dramatic range of size that you're looking at here. Uh, the shades of blue, would you call them denim blue maybe? Azure blue? Bit of everything really, that's the nice thing about them. There is no, there is no, um, there's no right or wrong in that, that shading of blue because it feels like you've got a bit of tanzanite, you've got a bit of, a, of azure, you've got a bit of a denim blue, They're all mixed together in these uniquely faceted gemstones. Uh, this, is a, this is a price slash, wow, okay. Price slash, let's find out the price it should be, which is 
but of course it's not the price it's going to be and my instinct is we're going to take this to less than a tenner just because I'm working with Dion to be honest that's the only reason Dion's my producer and she's the lady who does the prices she's the lady who's in the hot seat and I just you know when you She is, my, she just, I don't. <laughs> so I knew it was gonna go, because it's Dion, to less than 10 pounds, but I think she does this on purpose with me. I reckon she just does these silly prices just so I can go, what? And pull those silly faces. Oh, oh, oh. Um, £8.95 is all you pay for this fantastic opportunity. Blue color coated quartz, graduated faceted nuggets. It is a late show price tag, just to highlight these are exclusive miss it, miss out deals. When it comes to the last of stock, if we've just got a handful left, we'll drop those prices like this to make sure that we make room for all of our brand new pieces. And we've got some really good Christmas stuff to look forward to. We've got to start getting that into our stock list. That's why we've got to make sure that these prices are dropped so that we can move them out uh, to bring new ones in. What shall we do next? Ah, let them do some, oh, it's almost like a cashmere labradorite. Nice, aren't they? The, the lighter greys, are. Oh, I mean, you just, you've got a bit, a bit more of a, it's not as intense. It feels like they're a little bit lighter, a little bit fresher. Almost pastel labradorite, which I just know you can't get. Uh, <laughs> but that's the best way for me to describe it. Uh, I apologize that I, I can't find a better word to describe it. Uh, beautiful strand here, faceted rounds of labradorite. One of our real popular gemstones. And as you can see there, the softer colors. And you do have still some of that lovely labradorescence, but it's just a little bit more softer, a little bit more genteel rather than really abrasive and bright bright and bold. It just depends on which one you prefer, I guess. Um, either way, it's a low stock quantity that I have for you, unfortunately. So if you want it, it's yours for the taking for just £6.95. £6.95. If you would like to join me, to go, go, go. See what I mean by just how light they are, how light the, the iridescence is. Instead of getting that really neon, it feels like you're just getting a little bit more of a softer labradorescence. But I think that's quite nice, really. I quite like the subtlety of it. £6.95. Congratulations, if you've got it. Yours for the taking on that free for number. Straight on we go. Now just take a look. Heart-shaped. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Drew's just walked in. And I tell you what, I've already told them. I haven't even pretended like you like this was already made up. I'm like, yeah, Drew was meant to be here. He totally forgot. He doesn't love jewelry makers at all. He just forgot. Just left me hanging. <laughs> He's saying that it was me. I just wanted the extra hour to work. <laughs> That's right, Drew. You know me well. Um, if I'm in the building, I'll be working. Uh, you've got here black agate hearts. You've got 12 millimeter hearts at that. Uh, gorgeous, quite seductive really, aren't they? Really, really quite dramatic. And the heart shape means that you've got lots of dynamic, whether you're gonna create nice solitaire rings, whether you're gonna go for a really nice bracelet, neckline piece, earrings, of course, nice drop earrings that you could create. 220 carats in total and one price tag only of just seven pounds. 95. Team these with uh, any of those nice spaces that we did earlier on today. We did some really nice smaller uh, spacer beads or perhaps you want to team them alongside something a little bit more simple than that uh, like perhaps one of our, our simple um, uh, silver plain beads rather than the space beads but just the plain beads these would go very nicely against our, any of the metal range that we've got whether it's going to be the silver the gold plated the rose gold plated all of those antique would go quite nicely as well oh, yeah black goes with everything that's the nice thing isn't it it is and as a designer it's one of those ones you just need lots and lots of your neutrals whether that be your browns your whites your blacks you just need them because yes. they go with everything else and they just make your jewellery that much more interesting. Yes, you can make jewellery out of a single strand, but to have something that you can just pop in there as a feature bead. Mm. I mean, these are feature beads on their own, the you know. Hearts, just yeah. a, can you imagine just one of those? Loads and loads, maybe just three different coloured chains. Go for the antique bronze, the gold and the silver together, all layered up and just a few like, of those cascading down the front. Like. Be easy. Like that. Easy jewellery. Mrs. Elvin's doing thinking today, have you noticed? 
I'm not I'm surprised I am because I'm so dosed up. <laughs> There's not feeling very well. Not very well. Yeah, she's not very well. You might every so often hear this. <laughs> uh, that's Sarah. I'm sorry. Sounding so attractive tonight. <laughs> uh, right, straight to. Um, ooh, these are big. Ooh. Oh. They're nice. I want to Where have a... these been hiding? Ah, uh, last of stock very limited opportunity oh my gosh they're fabulous now these are your twisted ovals and they are top drilled rose quartz i have to say that is a good weight to a strand 500 plus <coughs> carats and each one of these is either a pendant each one of them is a centerpiece to the neckline yet again you've got so much universal wearability low stock though you've got to be prepared for these to fly out and sell out within this late show offer big quantity of of carrot weight just look at that how many, how many i've got to call them pendants and, and I'm only putting them on the pendant, I'm calling them pendants because of the size and the way that they're shaped. And of course, of course, if you did have some nice chain, simple bale, drop them down, one centerpiece, job done. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 pendants. Each pendant a pound. Would make more sense than the price you're about to see. <laughs> if I said to you, each one of them a pound, you'd go, oh yeah, that's good, that's good. No. No, just over 50 pence for each one of those feature pens. Just over 50 pence. <laughs> just uh, 50 pence. Can you imagine handing over 50 pence and somebody saying, here you go, madam, you can have that lovely rose quartz centerpiece for your neckline. You'd just think that they'd, they'd lost the plot, wouldn't you? you 50 would. pence these days buys you very little. It's uh, certainly not something that could last you a lifetime. And that's what you've got here, rose quartz. Tell you what, you've got to jump on that price tag. You've got to jump on that deal. It's going to sell out right now. It's got to sell out. It's in single quantity figures, so it's not going to be around any other time than now. So if you like it, don't hang off and go, oh, I'll think about it for another. No, don't think. Just trust your instinct. It's £8.45 for that tremendous 500 carat rose quartz, top drilled, faceted, twisted, puffy ovals. I genuinely think that they often put lots of adjective words in there just to confuse me. <laughs> top drilled, faceted, twist, puffy ovals. Really? I think they only did that because they knew it was meant to be Drew. <laughs> and with his, uh, with his accent, he'd be saying that. <laughs> That's close. It was close. Uh, where am I going? Let's go. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, that is a very nice strand. Those are going to really come in handy as well, aren't they, Sarah? Oh, they are. I, I, they make such beautiful focal points on the neckline. They, they look beautiful if you want to basket weave in between them. Uh, they make great pieces if you're making wire work cuffs. You can actually wire both sides in so they actually sit flat into a cuff. They just work beautifully. And look at the colour. That colour is so beautiful, so tranquil. It's almost like you've taken the most beautiful seawater and frozen it. It's almost like got that little... <sighs> That little frozen sea water. Oh, blue. Sarah, how poetic! It's got you blue. need to take more, more cold, cold <laughs> tablets and more often. You get all poetic on us. More sore throat sweets. And That's more. it. You just need more, just more, more antibiotics, <laughs> and she'll talk like this every day. Uh, <laughs> blue girls as any graduated plane or rectangles should be. Don't tell me you're going to go lower than nine ninety five. No. Oh, somebody, somebody help her. Sarah, have you got any of those tabs? I think our, I think our <laughs> Dion needs some kind of... Oh. Now, some pieces I'm happy to price slash, and then other pieces just don't make sense to price slash. You know, pieces like this just don't need to be price slash. 9.95 is already a tremendous price point. So we just don't need to take it any lower than we have, but we've done it anyway, what the heck. Seven pounds 95 is all you pay. That lovely elongated, like like shards almost. I have to say, Sarah, Sarah's just described them beautifully. Like frozen sea. 
The sea can't freeze though, can it, because of the salt? Well, it does in the Arctic. It doesn't. Does it not? Well, no. what's the ice then? Is that not seawater? Well, oh, now I could tell you about that. There's three <laughs> different stages. When I was in Antarctica, I learned about the different stages of ice forming oh. in salted water. Very interesting. I shan't bore you, but I thought it was interesting. All I'll tell you is, is that there's lily pads in in Antarctica, lily pads that start like this and in the end are like miles and miles because uh, in, in, they all congregate in, in sections and then they lift and that, and then it gets tight. <laughs> the frog, yeah, the frogs are a little bit cold on that lily pad. Yeah, bit bitter. Blue frogs, you've never seen it before. <laughs> um, where should we go? Um, last one, is it? Okay, last one before. Oh, of course, we've got our tools to fit in for our showstopper. And now he's here, Drew's ready to go. Um, we have got... <laughs> I'm so going to have his life on this. A hundred characters, quartz, these faceted puppy squares, eight millimeter. Gorgeous look. Really pretty, actually. Very pretty. Feminine? Yes. Sophisticated? Yes. Do you want it? Yes. Especially for the price I'm about to do for a low stock offer. And it's yours for £7.95. £7.95 for a fantastic feature of quality faceted puffy squares. Congratulations, and I think it's time for our showstopper. See, I need, I need more hands when you do big deals like this because... Um, <laughs> I want to be able to show them all and quite simply my hands are not big enough but take a look at this combination you're going to get a lot of feature and these professional tools that's something that we have to highlight what you're about to get is going to give you a professional finish to your jewelry making once you get tools like this your jewelry really will find another level of quality a finish and i know for a lot of our jewelry makers who perhaps have, have been part of jewelry making for a long time will often say uh, they'll they'll feel the difference when they use a different quality tool they see the difference to their jewelry and that's really important if you're making jewelry for yourself or for somebody else or selling your jewelry you've got to get that professional uh, feature now you're going to get the professional finish from many of these tools, but I guess for many people, one of our big tools here at Jury Maker is the One Step Looper, which gives you the chance to create um, matching and exacting loops. So whether you're creating nice head pins, whether you're creating jump rings, anything like that, you can do so with this fantastic tool. It gives you matching size uh, and a variety of different sizes within that. But a fantastic um, tool to really give you a professional finish. This is your one step looper. You get all of the instructions as you can see within this tool. So on top of that, you're also going to get another professional tool. It's part of the Beadsmith range, and it's your jump ring coil cutting pliers. Now, uh, these uh, often work alongside our saw and blades uh, so that you can create your own jump rings. Um, you know, your jump rings are for those of you who, um, who really love to do things like chain mail, perhaps those of you who are uh, involved in making feature uh, beaded looks, or of course, heading into the scale mail that we saw yesterday in the masterclass. Uh, this really would be a tool for you. It's gonna make multiple uh, jump rings at a very low cost and all you need is this tool and the saw and blade so this is the tool and this alone just to highlight in terms of this bundle but this on its own is 14.95 i think i'm right in saying that the one step looper is 24.95 on its own if i then add in your comfort grip and these are your chain nose pliers. So it's the flat, flat nose pliers with that lovely little curve to add that detail and give you precision to your jewelry making. If I add this in as well, you should be paying, uh, you should be paying a considered amount of money and yet no way, no way can we do that on, on a show stopping deal. In fact, let's just remind us, just your one step looper alone is 24.95. You've then got the coil cutting pliers and those alone are $14.95. Put the bundle together and you know you should be paying close to 50 pounds, yeah? Should be closer to 50 pounds. However, 
all three professional tools for just $29.95. It's a showstopper because it's giving you deals that we just couldn't do any other time than within an offer like this one. And of course, not forgetting that once this deal is here at $29.95, it is only available till the end of the live show, which is at nine o'clock this evening. So if you're gonna buy it, you buy it now, or you don't get that deal again. I cannot honor that price tag any other time than now. It's $29.95. Professional tools creates professional jewelry, which means you're getting quality and hopefully potential to sell your jewelry or enjoy the, the, the workmanship of quality jewelry and wear it on a day-to-day -day basis and really indulge in getting that top grade look to your jewelry. 29.95 should be closer to 50 pounds and you got it for less than 30. That's the way we do it. Uh, this is the way we do it. I've just realized what you've called this, the clash of the pliers. I'm so pleased I'm handing over to Drew. I couldn't handle any more dreadfully named bundles. I've got Kim. I've got Kim this morning. What was what was it? What was it called? Hot hot heat was the name of a bundle. <laughs> and now we've got Clash of the. I can't even go there. I need to train them in naming bundles. I think I actually need, I think we might have a meeting. Uh, 29.95 is all you pay for that bundle. The gorgeous Drew is gonna take you through the rest of this showcase and I know you're gonna have a lot of fun and lots of offers. Can I just say he's got big, big amounts of wire just here coming up shortly. Around about half past six, lots and lots of wire. So if you want it, I'd keep watching. Don't go anywhere. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the on air now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, you simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Would you like to try a new hobby? Then why not give us a call on 0800 644 655 and we'll send you a free copy of our DVD and booklet to help you get started. You don't even need to make an order. Get involved with Jewelry Maker. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. Our standard delivery is now only £2.95 per day, regardless of how many pieces of jewellery are added to your order. Delivery takes between four to six working days, and if you want your jewellery quicker, simply speak to our call centre about our premium delivery service. Hello, I'm Vicky Carr, and I'm going to continue on now for... No, I can't do the accent at all. <laughs> ah, rubbish at accents. Hello, I'm Jim Nichols. I'm taking the next three hours. I should have been here for four hours, but totally forgot to look at the rotor. Therefore, I've come back again. Um, uh, I'd like to say hello to my wife and my son, who I saw briefly for about ten minutes. 
Hello, Lucy and Charlie. Charlie, and I'm sorry for everyone watching, but he loves that sort of stuff. He's 10 months old. Um, right, uh, I've got my dinner though. Um, yeah, I've, I've brought my dinner with me. What's that, you know that program, the um, the cooking program where they give you the ingredients and you've got to make something? Ready, steady, cook. Ready, steady, cook. Right, well, here's my ingredients. <laughs> All right, uh, if you could knock something up with those, anybody, that would be... Uh, I'm not going to put a cough sweet in it, Sarah. I've got a flask of coffee. <laughs> and Sarah's got a flask. We've got a flask of coffee, a bottle of water, and a banana. Do you know what? We could probably make something with that. Yeah. Coffee watered down with banana topping. There we go. Uh, now then, lots of pieces to bring you, lots to do. Without further ado, uh, the cord bundle on the right-hand side. Uh, oh, this is coming up at half six, is it? Uh, with the beads on top. Oh, nice. This is a showstopper coming up at half past six. Uh, your cord bundle. Look at that. I oh, forget the cam camera's on the other side. So you've got your leather cord. I always get that wrong, Mike. Just, just wave your hand, Mike, and I'll get it in the right place. Uh, you've got rose quartz uh, and... And what, sorry? Mink. Ooh, mink. Mink. I like that. I like that. I, like that. I told you would be on your guard, didn't I, Claire? Uh, right, we're going to go to box number one. Uh, I'm looking forward to going in the little box over by Sarah, by the way. Uh, that's, uh, that, that, that's, that, I, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that. Well, I've just discovered another camera that we've got here. Uh, now then, this is, you've got lovely little briole cuts here. Uh, these are top drilled. See, I've learned something from Mark. Do you like that? Very good. Uh, that, that is if they are top drilled. Um, <laughs> if, they're, if they're not. <laughs> Then I'm. Oh, have I got the wrong box? Well, I haven't got the wrong box. You've got the wrong box. I've only just got here. <laughs> We're going to go with this? Number one, yeah? I don't know. I don't, they're blaming each other. They're, I'm the one that's late. I'm the one that didn't turn up. It's your fault. <laughs> it's, it's all my it's fault. It's all your fault. I've it <laughs> thrown everything into, uh, uh, into turmoil here. Uh, the collector's choice. Uh, you've got 15 carats of your shaded green sapphire. Sapphire, that's nice. Very nice. That's nice. Bit of sapphire. Uh, lovely colours to these. Uh, lots of facets on these. So you get that lovely little bit of sparkle. We like a bit of sparkle, don't we, oh, sir? Oh, we do. Of course we do. We're all magpies. We like a, we're all we're all magpies. <laughs> we do like a bit of sparkle. So every single one has been individually faceted. Uh, top drop, five by three, uh, three point uh, three by two to five by three millimeters, and eighteen centimeters in length. In this, uh, now if you hear some strange noises uh, going on, it's not me. Uh, it's certainly not me. Hang on a minute. That sounds like a box being lifted and a box being taken out. And uh, oh, you're very quiet, aren't you? You're very good. Yes, yes, she said very quietly. Uh, low stock, but we're going to price slash. Doodly -doo, doodly -doo, doodly -doo. This is what the price should be, but, 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 it's not going to be that because. Hang on a minute, he's, she, she's, putting the, she's dialing it, she's dialing it. We're having a price slash, a tropical price slash. The price isn't rising, it isn't surprising, it's going right down, down, down. Timing. See, that's all about timing. <laughs> £19 and 95 pence. This is a sapphire. So your corundum based gemstone, of course, an allochromatic gem, which means it's coloured by the presence of other minerals uh, that are surrounding it. In this case, you've got these little uh, subtle shades of green, graduated drops here. So you go from your smaller pieces, uh, lovely little pieces just to sort of uh, uh, to finish off maybe a pair of earrings or something like that. Yeah, also if you wanted this to be your little signature that you had on the back of an extender chain oh, or on I a like bracelet. That. I like that, a little signature. Oh, I know it's a Sarah piece because it's got a little briole drop sapphire yeah, on it. It could, oh, it could very that. well be that that's your signature or yeah, you may just yeah. want to use these um, you know, to make beautiful chandelier earrings or something yeah, like that. They're, yeah. they're the perfect size for that. They're absolutely nice. gorgeous. And you get quite a few on here as well, don't you? You do, you get so them loads. Yeah, yeah, so you certainly get them a few uh, left over uh, from your first project. £19.95, and pence. it's a price slash, it's miss it, miss out, you've got to be quick. It's what, sorry? A lazy daisy. <laughs> Apparently we're going to a Lazy Daisy next. Uh, I'm intrigued, I don't know about you, but these are low stock, these ones here, they're going fast. If you want to grab them, 19 pounds and 95 pence. 
If you're wondering who I am, by the way, I'm Drew Nichols. I'm Lucy's other half, uh, and uh, I uh, come on and do a few shows every now and again. Uh, first time working, you're my first lady, Sarah. Oh. My first lady. I haven't worked with a lady before. Oh, well, there uh, you go. I've only worked with her. So, uh, oh. uh, uh, yeah, um, I feel very privileged. Oh. Very privileged. Uh, 1995, if you want to grab it, you still can. A few of those still left. I'll put that back. Oh, there we go. Do you want that one back? Oh. <laughs> I'm, lo uh, I'm looking for a big tool. A lazy, this one here. A lazy daisy. Vi am I allowed to open it? Uh, can I, will it open or do I need a tool to open it? Do I need a lazy daisy opening? Oh, blood. right, okay, so what, what does this do, Sarah, do you know? Yes, this is... See, that's why she's here. Your that's why she's here. <laughs> this is your complete tool package for making Viking weave with, which is a wire working technique, which is a sort of a knitted technique where the wire is uh, woven. Yeah, and yeah. so we can see it on the front, on the yeah, front there, can't we? That's it, and it, this package has everything you need to make that and to completely finish your projects from start to finish, including making little... Um, uh, gizmo coil caps for the end to hide all your wire oh, working. Yeah, yeah, you've yeah. got your tool in there, you've got your conditioning cloth in there, which is the little orange cloth, which once you've made your weave, you roll it in there and it conditions the metal. You've got your draw plate, which is the plate with all the holes the what, sorry, in it. The, the draw plate, plate. The draw plate. Yep. And once you've completed your weave, you run it through from the largest to the size you want your weave to be, and it will actually condition, soften, and uh, make the weave smaller to those holes as you take it through. Oh, nice. Um, nice. And then you've got the actual tool itself, which is the one with the little daisy on the end. The one with the little, one with the the little, little white. Da is it's that not, one there with the little daisy yes. on the end? So is this like a hollow coil of wire? It, it, it's not a hollow coil, it's a hollow weave. It's a hollow weave. Yes. And so you, when you, with the daisy that you've got on the top there, yeah. you follow the instructions and it'll teach you how to set it up. And then once you've got the, the, the loop set up on the daisy at the top, right. you continue looping through each of the previous loops yeah. before making a weave. And it is hollow. Yeah. Um, so you can put beads through the centre of it once it's complete. Mm. Um, but once you've got the weave, you keep going round and round, just doing like, um, almost like, um, like a basket stitch almost. Yep. So. I'm going to say yes. I have never done a basket stitch in my life. <laughs> and the tool will allow you to create that hollow and get the perfect size because the tool will keep the wire work yep. uh, rigid across the tool. And then you can take it through the draw plate and make it the perfect width. So is this the so this is the biggest diameter you could do on this one here? Is that yes. that's the largest yeah. one there? I mean, yeah? typically if you're working on that tool, you always won't unless you're using a very thick gauge of wire, won't be as, as big as the, the largest hole okay. in the draw plate. But just take it through that one and keep taking it through until it runs through each hole smoothly okay. and then take yeah. it down to the next one. By right. doing that, you're stretching it and smoothing out all the stitches you've made in the in the Viking weave yeah. and you add actually condition the piece so it gets softer and smoother and more oh, flexible. See I love that sort of stuff. It's brilliant. I did, I did, I, I made my first piece which was a cone on the little uh, cone uh, like braddle looking sort of tool yes. which uh, yeah um, I, I like, I, I like the tools, I think it's the bloke in me, I do like the tools, I do like the tools. Yeah. So very handy, I suppose this is as well if you, <clears> if you feel you're getting stuck in a little bit of a rut with your designs yeah. and you want something because as soon as you do something like this it's going to send you off in a whole different direction. If you've not done wire work before, you're a bit scared about the whole wire working thing. Yep. This is very structured. It's um, it's a sort of uniform and an easy sort of uh, process to do. So it's a really good one if you're not quite into doing, you know, your gizmo work or you're yep. not quite into your freehand wire work. This will allow you to create really beautiful pieces. Great for bracelets and, and the um, backs of necklines and yeah, all sorts yep. of things. Yep. And it'll allow you to create those very easily. It's very therapeutic because it's just repeating the same yeah, thing yeah. again Sit and again. Sit in front of the telly. Yep. Nice night in front of Coronation Street. Other and soaps are available. And it's gr a great tool because everything you need is in that one package and it all comes in a little pouch to keep it all safe. And you've got a little bit of wire in there to get you started as well. And you've got so. wire to get going. So what's the, what sort of gauge of wires are we... Um, you can a, use 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0.4, 0.6, 0.8. You might okay. struggle with a point uh, with a one mil. It might be a little bit yeah, thick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but there's certainly those three gauges. I would start off probably with um, a 0.4. 
Okay. Um, okay. Because it's more flexible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but if you're a bit worried, you don't. So you've done like needlework and macrame and, and okay. that. Yeah. You'd be the, the most difficult bit, and it isn't difficult because you've got full instructions in there. Is just setting the daisy up and right. deciding how many loops you want on the daisy because that daisy will allow you to do four, five, and six, I believe. Okay. Uh, loops at the top. But the more loops you have, the more um, stitches you'll do around the the mandrel. Nice. But it's easy. It's got all the instructions in there, um, and it's a really, really great way to use your wire. So everything you need. If you want to get started, maybe it's a, a good, uh, a good entry point into your wire work. If you uh, and with the smaller wire, it's going to be a bit like macrame, anyway, isn't it? Really, with the um, it's, yeah. It's just a repetitive sort of stitching motion almost between the wire. There we go. And we're going to price. We've got some photos of this actually, but we're going to get the price on. We're going to price slash this uh, for you again. It's that. It's the evening show, isn't it? All yeah. we do is price slash. That's what it's all about. <laughs> It That's what it's all about. Uh, price slash down to £29.95. And uh, when you think of the investment in tools such as this, and like I said, it's going to give you a, a lot more uh, inspiration uh, to your jewellery. If you think you've, you've, you've come to a bit of a dead end with your inspiration on your jewellery, it's just going to give you loads more ideas, these sorts of pieces, these simple tools, and send you off on a whole different tack. So uh, £29.95. Uh, we've got some photos we're going to show you as well, so I'd be interested to look at these as well. Uh, there's an example. Okay, okay. So that's uh, using three, I think three different colours of wire. Possibly. It's three no, different colours of two, two different colours. Two of different colours of wire yeah. in the same one. Looks, it's the sort of thing that I imagine is quite easy once you get the hang of it, but looks really complicated. That's that's the reason why having the tool makes your life so much easier. It's <laughs> yeah. not a difficult technique, right, okay. but if you're trying to do it and you're all fingers and yeah. thumbs and you haven't got the tool to do it, it makes your life difficult. It makes doing the the the, the enjoyable bit of the jewellery making yeah. disappears when you haven't got the right tools. Yeah. When you've got yeah. the right tools, it makes life so much easier. Yeah. So if you're a macrameist, you know the macrame board's your tool. If you want to do the Viking weave, this is the tool you want. See, uh, I've got a sh I've got a shed full of tools under that premise, Sarah. <laughs> you know, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Can we have a quick look at that one again? I missed that one. Is that with gemstones inside? Is it? Yes. No, so I mean that's a whole new line for you, or maybe you, you may, maybe you already do it, and you're just looking for a simpler way to do it. Uh, Twenty nine. I mean, it looks fantastic. That looks uh, well. That is art, isn't it? That's what you you know. That's what jewelry makers. That's what you're all about. Uh, beautiful pieces of jewelry and a great look at twenty nine pounds and ninety five pence. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, on my right hand side, I should have, I've got a banana and a bottle of water. No one's coming with any ideas <laughs> about what I can make with a banana and a bottle of water yet. Uh, by the way, I've got to be able to do it in a 30 second break as well. So uh, uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, right, the storage bag. I just think I'm going fishing when I open this. Oh, you could use it for that. <laughs> <laughs> say that I might use it for that. Uh, you've got uh, all uh, uh, this again this makes life so easy in everything see I relate a lot of these jewelry maker pieces uh, especially the tools and like um, to my shed because I'm a man I've got a shed everyone should have it have you got a, have you got a shed Mark? Got a shed? Uh, you live in a flat you can always have a shed uh, you can always have a shed. Uh, it might have to be a cupboard, but it can still be a shed. Um, and uh, I, I do like everything sort of, uh, I'm a bit like uh, Mark, designer Mark, he likes a, a place for everything and everything in its place. Uh, and here you have got uh, so many compartments. You've got all, your are these all the same? Do we have different sizes? No, they're all, so they're all the same. So if I show you one of these, and you can uh, drop the compartments in and make them as big or as small as you like. Uh, to get all your pieces and that you could, I mean, if you <coughs> wanted to, do they, does the whole thing pop out? Yes, so even the centres pop out, so you can have a, a, a very long compartment there if you want to put, even put some tools in there, I suppose, if you want as well. What do you use this for, Sarah? Have you, have you got one of these? Have you got all, I've got all several of these. Have you, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Um, I use them because I'm uh, a little bit organised with my gemstone colours, so I tow my gemstones out into the boxes. Right. So I have pinks, purples, yep. all of them different in different boxes. And um, like I was speaking to a lady uh, yesterday, uh, she liked a piece of jewellery I was wearing, one of the school mums. 
and she said, uh, could you pop some gemstones in so I can decide which ones I'd like in that piece of jewellery on Tuesday? So I will take my box with oh, me. Oh, selection. You can you can yeah. choose your colours, madam. Yeah, so I, I, I... Can't do that in the shops, <laughs> can you? No. Can't do that in the shops. So she wanted oranges and browns. So yep. I'll be taking all my orange and brown toned beads in my little bag. Nice, uh, nice. With some uh, designs for her to choose from. And she'll choose a piece of jewellery she wants making specially for her for her birthday. Did you carry it? like that or did you have it over your no, shoulder? Sling them over my shoulder? Over your shoulder. Yeah. 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 Jaunty walk. <laughs> right, uh, great price on this, great price, and it just keeps everything in one place. Twelve pounds and ninety-five pence. Your storage bags, uh, including uh, your divider trays, in there as well. Uh, of course, with the Dreammaker logo, so everyone knows. Everyone knows what you're doing. Yeah. You know? There we go. Twelve pounds and ninety-five pence. A crazy, crazy, crazy low price for um, something that is just going to. Uh, it's going to just clean everything up. If you look around your house now maybe you've already got some of these and you're sitting there going yeah I know look at mine look at yeah. mine there you know or you're sitting there surrounded by everything and you have to put it all back into a box and every time when you go to I mean that's the thing is that when you go to start to make a piece of jewelry and you've got to get everything out and you've got to separate everything up and then you start if you've done it all at the beginning I also use these for the kits when they arrive and I put the kit in one of those boxes oh, okay so yep. I put the findings and all the various bits yep. and pieces and I put them in there and then they're ready when I want to use them I just pull out one box I know that's yep. the kit I've got to make for the show and you can see everything as well yeah. at a glance you can see everything that you've got uh, 12 pounds 95 for that uh, I think we can do one more piece and then we're gonna do show 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 stopper is that the leather cords the show stopper oh and we've got wires as well wire bundles I used to be an electrician, I like wires. I like wires. I made a cone last time I was on. Someone took it away though. I was very proud of my cone. It was the first thing I ever made. And uh, come back a day later, it was gone. So, oh, that's the gone. nature. <laughs> uh, box number 18. Uh, silver colour coated hematite. Look at these. Beautiful. Uh, faceted beads of it really heavy these as well aren't they you really know you got these on so if you've got a design that you need to uh, keep straight you know to sort of uh, to, to pull the design uh, down a bit yeah, um, sometimes uh, I assume with like the wires you can get sort of little kinks in your design sometimes a um, little bit of heaviness on the end maybe sometimes if you're doing a chain piece as well where you've got chained angles yeah and you've got the you want the weight on the bottom there to keep those down yeah, yeah. you don't want a lightweight sometimes you don't want a lightweight gem on the bottom yeah. so you want something and also if you've got those and they're on pieces of chain and they're next to each other they're going to make a beautiful noise when they hit together yeah. when you're walking yeah. along um, and I also love these for your macrame style Shambhala style bracelets or your oh, yeah. Chanlu style yeah. bracelets because they have all that sparkle without all that sort of cheap crystal yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd rather use a proper gemstone in those and have all that sparkle which I know is going to last and last and last and is going to keep that beautiful quality on my wrist and I can do whatever I like while I'm wearing it it's the weight of the th it's the weight of the, the of them as well, isn't yeah. it? It's the weight of the because I, I mean I always find when I'm um, when I'm selling jewelry upstairs upstairs, uh, <laughs> you know you pick a piece up and uh, you pick up a bracelet and you can really feel the weight and you just yeah. you know you've got something that's quality that has got that weight to it and it looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? It does. Uh, beautiful sparkles there coming out, all faceted. Uh, those uh, yeah, silver coated, uh, colour coated hematite faceted rounds, approximately eight millimeters on those. Quite nice size holes in those as well yes yeah, so yeah. you get your you know if you want to use things like your hemp or your heavier um, beading threads and things yeah. like that, you'll get those through there okay, or cool. if you want to put multiple beading threads through yeah, yeah. if you're doing a, yeah. like a, a bead, um, a a bead hang thread. on a bead um, what, what was that a bead th bead thread design what did I make what did I make a beady bead you made a beady bead I made a beady bead ah, I made a beady bead oh, these be are a bit big for beady beads might aren't be a they? bit heavy for beady, for beady bead, beads yeah. Um, yeah I know all about beady beads me uh, <laughs> get involved 800 655 uh, that is 275 carats of silver color coated hematite uh, love love the sparkle love the silver uh, six pounds 95 that's a great price Uh, uh, apparently a few people are texting in saying that Vicky's being replaced by a man. Um, <laughs> firstly, uh, Vicky's not being replaced and uh, secondly, I'm not often called a man. Um, but Not in that respect. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was supposed to be on. So Vicky has actually uh, covered my first hour because I went home. 
<clears throat> and I, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, six pounds ninety-five. <laughs> six pounds ninety-five. But thank you for calling me a man. Uh, gorgeous silver color-coded hematite faceted rounds, eight millimeters. Uh, we have got a brand new strand coming. We're going to have a quick look at that. Quick look at that. Let's put that back in. Uh, of multicolored moonstone. Did you say? So I'm going to go for this one. Yeah. Uh, multicolored moonstone. Is this brand new? Is it? It's a brand new strand brought to you from me. I'm Drew, and if you stay tuned to tonight's show, you can own it too. It's a brand new strand. Did you like that, Mark? I did like that. Mark liked that. Mark had a little smile on his face. Son, that's coming up very soon. Uh, right. Uh, we're going to do a show stopper. Don't go anywhere. It's the leather cords. <laughs> Uh, right, so we've got a couple of showstoppers for you. We've got the leather cords. I'm sorry if you're disappointed because Vicky's not here. Uh, she'll be back probably tomorrow. Um, tomorrow? Tomorrow at 9. Vicky will be back tomorrow at 9. So if you need a Vicky car fix, she'll be back tomorrow at 9. Uh, are we doing all the wire next? Uh, sorry, after the leather? The big ones? Yep. So, and after the uh, leather, we're going to be doing the uh, red, silver, and gold. We'll be doing those. <laughs> Don't say Christmas. Uh, right, uh, we have got here a show stopper. So, so, and, and I remember, I can't remember the price, but Mark was telling me uh, the price that he was paying for these before he came and worked at Jewelry Maker. Um, and, I mean, we've got some great deals on these, haven't we? Some incredible deals. I know, and they're beautiful. They smell gorgeous. Do they? They do. How the cords smell beautiful. <laughs> I know, because I'm, I'm working with uh, one of those at the moment with a kit. Oh, so it's nice, isn't it? Mm. Like, with, not, the leather, like the leather shop imbued. Not viewed Boss Castle. We go to Boss Castle every now and again. There's a leather shop there. You walk in, you go. Yeah. You know you're in a leather shop now. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, this is all your different colours here. Now, uh, do these have individual names? Green leather, maroon. Are they? We haven't got any fancy names for these, then, have yeah. they? Really? Uh, green leather cord, green hornet leather cord, uh, maroon five leather cord. Uh, you've got black, just black leather is quite good. Black leather cord. Uh, you've got sea aqua blue um, mermaids leather cord. Uh, you've got um, red leggings uh, leather cord. Uh, you've got pink ladies leather cord, uh, and you've got tan my leather cord, uh, and a uh, hundred carats of rose quartz plain rounds and mink. Yes, mink uh, shell plain rounds. They are gorgeous, but I do love the colours and the cords. And it just gives you, again, all those options. All those options, didn't you, with the different colours? That's it. And it's just beautiful. Uh, half the stock has gone, by the way. Half the <laughs> stock has gone. I'm Sorry, not surprised. Sarah. I'm not surprised, because that leather cord, you can use it for so many different things. You can yep. use it, um, you can use a single strand on its own and make sort of the wish bracelets, um, or you can make very masculine pieces of jewellery by using multiple pieces. Yep. Um, and I know a lot of, of men like just one feature gemstone with a knot on either side in a leather yep. piece of cord, and just to catch or even a sliding clasp at the back just made yep. with knots and you can then you can wear it in there out the shower and until you you know so we don't need to take them off because you but boys do you know, don't like to take your jewelry off it's an extra moment that's out of our day if we have to take our jewelry off so uh, uh there we go and i do oh, by the way we'll get the price on we'll get the price on uh here we go 14 pounds and 95 pence. Now with these as well, because you've got, is it 10, uh, five meters on each, on each, uh, on each spiel, spool, reel, spool, spool, spool. that's the word I'm looking for, <laughs> spiel, rule, spool. Um, I suppose if you find that you're using more of one particular color, uh, then you can buy a larger reel of it, can't you? A larger spool of it later. But by yeah. getting all the different colors, you're really finding out which one you're going to use the most of without well, too much expenditure. Also, you know, you might not think I'm going to use the green one today. Yeah. But we have got that special event coming. Yeah. Um, and you may find that you want to use that 
at that particular time of the year. And you may not even want to make it use it with jewellery. You might just have a really little present and you just want to tie a little piece of, make it use it for a tag yeah, or something. Less than 20 of these, less than 20 of these now. Use it to tie your tags onto your presents. How beautiful to make your own oh, tags. Or make your own tags, yeah. You can make a tag that doubles as a bracelet so they get a double present as there well. You go. There you mm -hmm. go. There you go. Uh, 14 pounds and 95 pence for those, but they're going. They're going very, 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 very quick. I'm not surprised at 14, nine, final 10, final 10. I want to sing the final countdown, but I won't. Uh, crazy chords, uh, there wasn't a cue, ladies. Uh, 100 carats of rose quartz playing rounds, mixed shell playing rounds in there as well. Uh, five meters of your leather cords. Uh, these are going, 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 <coughs> uh, selling fast. They are selling fast at 14 pounds and 95. Uh, we're in single figures. Uh, all the single figures, all the single figures, uh, 14 pounds 95. I, I know all the pop songs, me, you know. I may only be, uh, <clears throat> uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, move on to the wire. To the wire. It's down to the wire. <coughs> you all right there, sir? You all right? Yeah. Um, you need to, when, when you're coughing, you do that. Because <laughs> that's what we do. Uh, when, when, when you're showing a piece of jewelry like that and you want to cough, you go, to the, uh, and you, that, that's when you know if the galleries are watching you or not. I'm not you know. sure if they can see no, me. No, you can. You, do you know It's my show tonight. You can cough as much as you like, sir. Oh, thank All you. Right? Yeah, as long as you, <coughs> long as you share your, uh, your fisherman's friends. <coughs> uh, right, uh, get in the spirit. Get in the spirit. That's like saying that word, but without actually saying that word, isn't it? Uh, get in the spirit. I did go to the, uh, I, I did go to the supermarket uh, yesterday and... Uh, uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, biscuits. Biscuits, is that what you mean by selection boxes? Yeah, biscuits. <laughs> and all the biscuits had little, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, holly leaves and stuff on it. I'm like, whoa. Whole aisle of selection boxes. I'm on no carbs, me. No carbs, me. I'm going to be svelte. Uh, right, uh, get into the spirit. We have got a uh, hundred meters of gold, silver, and is that a hundred meters of each? Oh my God, that's going to last you a long time, isn't it? It is. Those reels just take forever for me to use. These would normally be 74 pounds and 85 pence. If you bought them separately, 74 pounds and 85 pence. Now then, D is going to do a deal. This is a D deal. Dearly, dearly deal from D. Brand new today. It's a brand new showstopper. It was double showstopper time. This is your opportunity. Fifty-four pounds and ninety-five pence. This is this is the sort of piece. This is the sort of piece because I think now in, I don't think I'm wrong here. I think jewelry making is like cooking. Right, jewelry makers like cooking, and you go to make something, right? And there's always something that you haven't got in the cupboard, isn't there? There is. If you buy this, you're going to have these in your jewelry making cupboard for a very, very long time. They're, they're sort of the essential ones that you need as well. You know, the ones you're going to reach for to make handmade clasps, things like that. You may yeah. make your own findings. Yeah. You're going to reach for these all the time. If you're making findings, you're using two or three inches of wire at yeah, a time. Yeah, yeah. Those are going to last for ages and ages. hundred meters. And they'd go well with the toolkit as well that we did earlier on, that uh, Vicky did earlier on, mm. wouldn't it? Yes. So if you've, uh, uh, the toolkit's still available, isn't it, on the web? Am I right in thinking that? Yeah. So uh, yeah, there's a toolkit earlier on that they did a great deal on as well. So uh, if you want to get, and I suppose if you're going to start making for Christmas, mm. um, you, need, you need to start making it. I know we're mentioning it early, but if you're going to make Christmas presents, you know, um, uh, crafters, uh, you know, uh, you want to, oh, that wasn't me, whatever that was, something just fell off and spilt everywhere. It's all right, I've saved it. Uh, yeah, because uh, you're going to build your stock up as well, haven't you? And the red wire is an unusual one to have as well. We get lots of... Right. It's so one that I don't have a lot of is the red wire, which yeah. is going to be great for coming up for the festive season. You might want to be making, you know, um, a wire table decoration for yeah. your table. You yeah. can outdo the neighbours with beautiful yeah, wire yeah. work centrepieces. Yeah. Yeah. But you might want to give those as gifts that someone's going to keep and cherish every year and bring out every yeah. year. Um, I have a Christmas tree decorations. Yeah. I have um, a set of candle decorations that come out every year for Christmas yeah. um, that were given to me uh, by a family friend. They come out every year and they get put yeah. in the centrepiece. So. You know, if you make a piece this year, 
it it's could about be your making family a heirloom. tradition, isn't it? Yeah. And if you can make your own piece of jewellery and then make that your tradition, it's a double whammy, really, mm -hmm. isn't it? Uh, Fifty-four pounds and ninety-five pence. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, how does that work? Right, okay. Um, Dee has decided in all her wisdom that um, we're going, to, am I allowed to say that? You buy two, you buy two, you get one free. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. I said you buy one and you get one free. Uh, they buy two, <laughs> buy two, and I no wonder what was different. Uh, Forty-nine pounds and ninety pence because they were seventy-four eighty-five. Is that right? Uh, they're only about twenty-four ninety-five each. So there you go. Buy two, and you get one free. Buy two, and you get one free. There you go. You get all of those for under 50 pounds, 49 pounds and 90 pence. 49 pounds and 90 pence, that's 300 meters. 300 meters of wire. That is ridiculous. And even if you're a wire worker that uses loads of wire, take advantage of that deal of getting yeah. one reel for free. Yeah. yeah, Because, you know, if you're gonna use it, it doesn't go off, it hasn't got a sell by date. Yeah. Just yeah. keep it in a cupboard, tucked away from the sunlight. Yeah. Um, and it will last you and it will be there when you're ready for it. So, yeah. you know, when you're going to make that beautiful recipe that you've got in your mind of your jewellery making, you're going to have all the ingredients you need. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. So if you want your wire, uh, get involved there. Uh, can I hold on to those? I'm going to keep showing those. I think that's a great deal. I think it's a great, I think we should show those all through the night because uh, <coughs> there are people that are going to be needing to build their stocks up on those and that's the stuff to do it with. Uh, 49 pounds and 90 pence. Uh, box number one. Oh, the Moonstone. We said we are going to do the Moonstone, didn't we? Uh, and then after the Moonstone, we're going to do what? One minute auctions. Well, yeah, yeah. I don't need more excited about that. You out there, or do my, uh, uh, my producer. Look at this. Multicolour Moonstone. Now, the different colours of the Moonstone as well. We've had a, 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 a sort of a peach, I don't know if you call it peach Moonstone, here, do you? Uh, it's be a peach moonstone, the, the, the pinky uh, shade that you get there. And of course, you get that wonderful shiller off the moonstone as well. A couple of darker ones, and I've not actually seen that uh, that colour before. I think it's a uh, feldspar group, your, your moonstone. So you're up there with sort of a labradorite sort of, uh, uh, sort of finish to these. Get this lovely uh, metallic shiller or shimmer off the top of these gems. Again, all faceted and again, all top drilled. And good size pieces. Uh, these are seven to fourteen millimeters on a twenty centimeter strand. So you've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Approximately twenty-one of these. So whatever you see, what that price comes up, divide it by twenty-one, and uh, you see exactly the great price you're getting on each of these individual pieces. Uh, brand spanking new in today. Again. New piece, new colour, new ideas? Definitely. These are make beautiful floral pieces for headdresses, for tiaras, for combs. Oh, yeah, yeah little, um, little drops off the wire. I don't know if it was wire. Linda or Sheila did a beautiful wire mesh design the other day of, of like a flower, and then on top of that, they had petals um, of Labradorite, similar shape, and these would look beautiful oh, okay. um, in well, that design. Sort of put them around. Yes, it was. It was a. It was Join a, them all together, sort of thing, and have them coming out of, yeah. the, of the mesh, and then on top of that, they'd wired in um, those petal-shaped designs as well. Just beautiful. And it's that unusual sort of metallic luster off the top, isn't it? That just gives you that uh, unusual look with the moonstone as it well. It does, and it, there's just the beautiful optical effect. Get these into daylight because you can't see the beauty in the studio. Yeah, yeah. Do get them into daylight. I've been working with moonstone this week, and the beauty in daylight. Even off the smallest pieces, you get those beautiful, beautiful optical effects, and it's lovely. Right, brand new today. Let's get your price on, see what we can do for you. Nine pounds and ninety-five pence. <coughs> Nine pounds and ninety-five pence for your full strand. So approximately twenty-one uh, in your strand there, and that lovely, lovely colour, beautiful tones there, uh, and that metallic shiller off the top from your moonstone. Uh, graduated faceted hearts, uh, seven to fourteen millimeters, twenty centimeter strand there. Uh, Nine pounds and ninety-five pence. 
if these pieces, uh, if you'd like these pieces, that I mean, you're the first people to see it. So if you would like to own it, it's a great, uh, you know, it's a great opportunity to come in and get it because uh, the strands they sort of come on for a couple of shows, one or two shows, and then they end up on the miss it, miss out, and that's it. It's all over. It's game over. So nine ninety five if you want to get these uh, into your collection. Brand new in today. Now, I'm just going to show you. Uh, Raving Reds on my left, oh, on my left hand side, on the desk. Raving Reds. You've got uh, the Agates, are uh, they Opals, Jasper and Quartz. Is that Jasper and Quartz? Oh, there were Fire Opals for a minute there. Uh, your Jasper and your Quartz, all your different sizes here as well. So this is coming up very soon, the Raving Red bundle. Raven Red uh, bundle. And we've got the the cords, which are on the set. We've got a couple of uh, nice uh, strands in here as well. I probably could have left that there, couldn't I? I don't know. It looks a bit like that. Do you get all of those, do you, in this, in this bundle? So every single one of those available in the bundle that's coming up a little bit later on. Uh, one minute auctions now. One minute auctions. Right, where are we going first? Box 19. Probably take me a minute to, uh, uh, to find them. Here we go. Uh, box number 19. Uh, looking like amethyst to me. or Yeah, amethyst is it? I was going to say amethyst or fluorite. You've got uh, these uh, wonderful banded amethyst. I actually had a piece very similar to this on Gem Collector this morning. Uh, you can see where the banding of the light runs through these pieces. These are, I think these are lovely um, when you've got these sort of in drop earrings and you've, you can get the light running through the pieces or maybe a little drop off a bracelet and uh, you get that lovely colour of the uh, of the amethyst running through you've also got some more darker examples in this one here of course being uh, this is the beauty of natural gemstones every single one is going to be different everything is going to be unique and these are all faceted these are uh, almost like uh, tumble rolled but faceted as well so you've got all these irregular shapes here uh, graduated faceted nuggets uh, approximately from 9 by 8 to 15 by 30 millimeters but this one I'm talking about when the light comes through those gems and you can see that wonderful uh, natural banding of the amethyst colors. Uh, we're going under 10 pounds, under 10 pounds, another one brand new. Uh, you've got a minute, you've got a minute, a minute to win it and that is it, six pounds and 95 pence. Uh, like I say, you want, I think you want to put this in a design where the light's going to come through this and really shout that banding in the pieces sort of style bracelets as well oh, yeah, yeah little drops on the charms yeah, yeah they make beautiful and beautiful earrings as well and don't think oh crikey i've got to have two exactly the same yeah. size and shape yeah. because they're on either side of the yeah. uh, of the of your head and of your headline um headline of your head um and therefore i'm with you Sarah. i'm with you i'm with you <laughs> it's the medication yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and so you don't actually notice if they're slightly different shapes what yeah. i would normally go is i would actually go more for matching up the color right yeah so but this this strand's very even on color anyway so and these are quite irregular shaped here as well so uh, you know i, I think that's going to fit anyway yes. you're going to make a pair by almost not matching if you, yeah. if you know what i mean with those uh six pounds and 95 pence uh, if you'd like it, if you'd like it, confirm, confirm, and this will be honest with you. Get on the line, 0800 644 Box number, box number 20. Uh, Multicoloured Zircon. Wow. Wow, multicoloured, I didn't even realise you had a Zircon. This is lovely, a high refractive index. The refractive index of Zircon is about 1.7 to 1.9, somewhere around there, uh, which is really, really sparkly for a gem. So when you think of diamonds, um, which is uh, incredibly refractive, about 2.4, but 1.9 is very, very much at the top of the scale as well. So you get that lovely sparkle coming out of your zircle. So not only your luster coming off each individual facet here, uh, you get these wonderful, wonderful flashes of internal light coming from these zircon and a beautiful uh, little flat uh, sort of um, are these uh what do we call these faceted rondelles i would call them flat nuggets bit of an oxymoron that isn't it a flat nugget but uh yeah a, a, a faceted rondelle uh three by one to five by two millimeters on these 18 centimeters you get a lot in this strand a lot in this just because of the sheer shape of the pieces 
lay those flat and actually do a weave with them, the button weave, and you actually see the the button shape sort of sit on its side. So okay. you actually see more of the gemstone. Right, yeah. And with these those you actually get a longer strand doing it that way. So you actually get even more off the strand. Right. Okay. And you get more light round. So is that end to end with the button weave? Is that your So instead of sitting like that, yeah. they end up sitting like that. Oh okay. Um so you actually get more yeah. um, of the light coming round the gemstone and you actually get to see more of the of the, the play well, of colour and things. Amazing. Yeah. That would look amazing. Oh there's supposed to be a minute auction this. <laughs> uh price you're the producer, we're the, we're just the talent D. Do you know what I mean? We're a uh, fourteen pounds ninety five, that's where it should be, but we're having a price slash, a tropical price slash. The price isn't rising, it isn't surprising. It only can go down, down. Uh, nine pounds and 95 pence. Nine pounds, 95. Uh, that song was written for that graphics. Do you know that? Uh, nine pounds, 95 uh, for your multicolored zircon grid. I'll teach it to you later, sir. Okay. Uh, multicolored uh, zircon, there's, there's a dance that goes with it as well. Um, wait till we get to the night owl. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nine pounds and ninety-five. Uh, last four chances. They're going to go. Should we move on? They're going to go. They're going to go at nine pounds ninety-five. Um, box number fifteen. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. This is going to be a little bit more considered. Oh my goodness. The you can't call this druzy. This is am this is amethyst. You can't call this druzy. Oh my goodness! Look at the size of these crystals. Now, when we look at geodes, when we look at geodes, um, this is what we find inside the geodes. Now, look at these. These are huge pieces here, aren't they? So you've got. Uh, your quartz. So basically this will be the outside of the geode here, almost like your host rock, and then it grows through and as your quartz comes through your different minerals are present within the centre here and you get this wonderful purple of your amethyst. But they are, from a gem collector point of view, they are awesome. I love, love those. They are gorgeous. What would you use these in, Sir? Um, I would probably make a pendant bale that would cage um, the gemstone so you'd actually see it facing forward oh, okay. and have it as a pendant. So that would be your centerpiece. Yeah. I mean yes. something I mean look at that as a centerpiece. That is yeah. beautiful. Either that or I would pop those into a wire work cuff. Um, so that it was like a, almost the focal yeah. point so of the wire, the wire work. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, but if you're not a wire worker, certainly you know think about just having those on a substantial neckline piece, so yeah. maybe several pieces of chain, um, and then having maybe a tassel of chain underneath yeah. it, and having that as a real focal point of your neckline, and it looked great in winter, just that real substantial yeah, focal they are point. Gorgeous! I love anything that shows the crystal in its natural environment, and that is. <laughs> Amazing there. Look at that. All the fa now that's Mother Nature's faceting that is. That's Mother Nature faceting that, sir. Uh, right, uh, we have got uh, 990 carats of your Druzy Amethyst. A wonderful selection. Uh, and this is the, again, this is the sort of piece I don't think you can use in every single piece of jewellery, but mm. it's a signet, I mean, this is a real statement piece of jewellery, isn't it? It's also one worth keeping one of these and having it, if you do sell jewellery, as something you can pass around to people uh, so yeah. they can see, they can touch it, they can yeah, feel it, yeah. they know you're using again, real gemstones. Again, reiterate, I was going to say, reiterate the fact that you are using yeah. real gemstones. I mean, that is awesome. Uh, low stock, we haven't got many of these. Like I say, they are a little bit more considered, but um, when, when you think, I mean, to give you an idea, uh, £27.95 on that. Um, each individual um, little crystal structure in here, I mean, that that's an individual bead in itself, isn't it? You know, it if is. we If they were to take that off and make that into a strand, you know, you've probably got, you know, you've probably got close. You saw that uh, the zircon strand that we, uh, um, uh, that we did earlier. You've probably got a strand in two of these. You know, and you've got so many pieces in here and all those wonderful colours as well. If you like your big chunky pieces of jewellery, 
Uh, and lots of points as well to anchor your piece uh, down as well, isn't it? And because you've got quite a, a height on, on those sort of geodes, you've got quite a height with the base yeah. rot there. If you are wire wrapping it, you know, you've got lots to hang on to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got lots to embellish, so you can embellish all the way around there with swirls yeah. and things like that. Um, or you might want to just take other beads around the side as well and yeah. actually encapsulate that um, if you're a beader and actually encapsulate that, that um, stone with other beads. These would look amazing with like just pearls going around the outside of them. In a circle around the outside. They are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, don't forget as well, we've got 300 meters of wire for you we did uh, previously, so if you're looking for that, perfect, perfect. These here, 300 meters, have a look on the web, this is still available, 300 meters of wire. Uh, the gauge is uh, 0.8, so we've got the gold, the silver, and the red, 0.8 uh, millimeters, that's 300 meters there. Uh, buy two, get one free today, buy two, get one free on those. Uh, box number six, how much for minute auctions? That's all I can say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nothing to do with me, nothing to do with us, is it? No. We just get, we just get, you know, done what we're told. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, a wooden five pin knitting spool. Can I get that? <laughs> I love that. I love that. They're what these just said on, in my ear. Ah, Sarah. <laughs> Don't even bother, Drew. Ah, Sarah. Let me see if I can get this one. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, hang on. I remember these. I remember. Does that does it come out the bottom? As it you know, it comes out yeah. the bottom. Yeah, C D. There I'm down with the kids. Do you know what I mean? That's a I'm three there. three pin version. But oh, that's a three pin version. It's there. It's exactly the same principle, except you've got five pins on the top. Oh, okay. And this is uh, again. So you end up with this uh, nice thick cord. You, yeah. yeah. So basically, it's like you're almost knitting the cord together. Right. It's a bit like the Viking weave, except yeah. you can use all your soft cords to do this with, and it's a slightly different knit that you get from this, depending on how many pins you've got around the top. It will, you'll get um, a different look. So the three pin gives you a slightly more open weave to the five pin right, version. Okay. Um, and it's very easy. You can use all your hemp cord or your satin cord. You can use wire. Um, you can use all sorts of things. And if you remember doing the bobbin knitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you've got. I say yes. I say yes. I, 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 know, I know the word bobbin knitting. Yeah. yeah but you've yeah. got a professional tool here to yeah. do this. You're not trying to do it on some plastic flimsy tool, yeah, you, especially yeah. if you're using wire, you need a substantial tool because the wire is going to so be a lot harder. So lots of gauge wire, again, you wouldn't want really heavy wire. No. That point 0.8 would be a, probably a little bit, thick, little bit too thick. Yeah, I was yes. just going to say probably, yeah, probably point 0.4, four, something like that. Point, point 0.4, you might get point 0.6. Yeah. Um, point 0.25 might be a little bit too flimsy. Right. So I'd go with a point 0.4 okay. up to a point 0.6. Um, but if you do do this in wire, the resulting um, knit that you get out the bottom, it's almost like a tube of knit. You can then mould that and wire wrap it. So you, I saw, I think it was Sheila or Linda, make shell shapes out of the wire um, knitting. Oh yeah. And just roll it into sort of like a conical shell and it just looks amazing. People will think, how on earth have you done that? That's what I need, that's what I need for my cufflink design, that. Mm. I've got cufflink design, I asked Mark about it and he went, because <laughs> uh, I think I think my idea is a bit uh, um, a bit ambitious for my level of jewellery making. Uh, <laughs> me and Lucy, or Lucy and I, were sitting at home and uh, I was having a go trying to make it. I, I, yeah, I, could, I couldn't. Have. I gave it a good go. I gave it a good go, but I think I need some expertise. Uh, so this is your knitting spool, uh, knitting spool, and we're going to drop that down to just twelve pounds ninety-five. Uh, one minute on the clock. One minute on the clock, and that is yours. A knee spool, great for wire. A groove to rest on your thumb as you work for more ergonomic comfort. I didn't make that up, I just read that off the side of the bottom. There you go. There we go, £12 and 95 pence if you want to get that. That is your wooden knitting spool. Uh, another great tool. I might just buy the tools, put them in my shed. Uh, that was number six, box 17. A uh, lovely citrine here, so you have got again uh, your quartz gemstone. Uh, lovely uh, little hints, little hints of golden yellow coming through here. 
Um, I always think of faceting when I see pieces like this because it is uh, very much the faceting art. If a facetor was going to facet a piece, he'd want to put the culé right where the uh, right where the colour is. Because when you uh, when you facet, if you put the uh, if you put the colour right at the base of the gemstone, it throws all the colour all the way around. Uh, and this piece here, you've got these uh, lovely little um, little areas of colour within here. So you've got these cool whites, uh, these classic white quartz in here, and then you have your little hints of your gold and yellows in the citrine. Uh, very nice and very, very well priced as well. Uh, 280 carats, 280 carats uh, in your citrine. Medium nuggets, 14 by 10 to 18 by 12 millimeters. Seven pounds and 95 pence, seven pounds and 95 pence. 0800 655. And this is all yours, low stock though. Low stock, low stock. If you want, if you want, was that for me, D, or? Ah, right, okay. Uh, £7.95. Uh, £7.95. Uh, 0800 Is anyone asking why Vicky Carr has turned into a man again? It's... Are uh, they giving up? Right. Uh, uh, apparently, someone texts in and says, "Why is Vicky Carr turned into a man?" Um, I was supposed to do the whole shift, but uh, I finished my first shift this morning and I went home because uh, I <laughs> don't. I didn't read my emails. Uh, Seven pounds ninety-five. We'll blame Scott. He's not here. We'll blame Scott. Uh, Seven pounds ninety-five. Low stock. That's it. Uh, how many of those we got left? Limited. Very, very single figures on those. Single figures. That's box number 17. Uh, box number two. Ooh, some findings. Sterling silver. Oh, these are pretty. These are pretty. I'll just get the tray out. I know, I know what you got to do. I know what you got to do. Uh, here we have, oh wow, do these come together? And these are real. I've not seen these before. So these are lovely. Yeah, I can see. I can see how they work. So that uh, so that basically uh, pops in, does it? Oh, D does it pop in some? Oh, I see. Somewhere like that, doesn't it? There we go. There we go. Uh, giving you that look to finish. Am I right? Am I right? Is that it? Yeah. There we go. That pops out. Does that? There we go. And you've got uh, three sets, nine to five sterling silver. <laughs> it's all right for Sarah, she's got a down camera. I don't get a down camera. Uh, 0800 644 655, let's do it. Low stock, low stock. So how, have you got a VT of these or something? Or uh, a no? Can I lift one up? You raise me up so you can see this finding. You raise me up your 925 silver clasp. And if you call the call center, just say you want this clasp. All you've got to do is ask. A uh, seven uh, ninety. You know, you know where I could have gone on that. A uh, seven <laughs> seven pounds ninety five. It's not, it's not late enough yet, is it? No, only seven o'clock. There we go. Uh, seven pounds 95. Uh, they're very pretty, those. I do like the little, uh, um, I mean, they're, they're a little piece of jewelry in themselves, aren't they? Those there. They are. They're very, um, I use them a lot in bridal jewelry because oh, yeah. they're such a feature. Yeah, um, yeah. And, you know, if you've got a sort of a pearl bracelet and it twists round, you want a beautiful clasp yeah. that you don't want to hide away. So it doesn't matter which way your bracelet yeah, yeah, turns, yeah. that's so beautiful. And again, on, on necklaces, sometimes the clasps switch round to the front. Yeah. So if, you, if you're at a very special event, it looks you don't like want it was made that. that way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it looks so professional to use these. And that's really intricate, really detailed. It's a little rose and they're in very there, easy which you to can put see, a little, well. like, little flower clasp. Yeah, very easy to use. Um, or you've just got a little, eye, little, little eye, eye, eyelet. On the end, eyelet, is that the right terminology? Yes. Yeah, little eyelet on the end. So what was that? Showstopper.
Uh, showstopper, Raving Reds. Raving Reds. Gorgeous. Uh, was it Eggates, was it? Or Jesper? Eggates, wasn't it? Uh, Jesper, Red Jesper at Eggate. Uh, Jesper comes from the word Iaspus, meaning spotted stone. And you get these wonderful, wonderful tones coming out of these gemstones here. I'm going to attempt to uh, hold all these up so you're going to have a look. So you've got 120 carats of your red jasper puffy coins, uh, 10 millimeters of those, uh, 190 carats of your red jasper rounds, uh, 8 millimeters of those, 35 carats of your red color quartz plain drops, and 170 carats of your red agate plain rounds on there as well. So a lovely selection of, um, of, of of mainstay, I suppose, of your designs, and also I do like that little um, these little drops as well on that you see these little uh, uh, red uh, agates there. Very, very nice indeed. Um, all yours, which is going to be for a showstopper price, if you wish, this evening. Uh, now, normally we'd be looking for all these over twenty pounds. Normally over 20 pounds. So if uh, red is where you'd like to be, if red is the color, if you're looking for again, I think it's probably quite a staple of a, uh, of a jewelry box, isn't it? This uh, these sort of pieces, your different shapes, your different designs, your different looks. Especially at this time of year, it's a very sort of seasonal color. Autumnal. Yes. Uh, new today, brand new today. Fourteen ninety five. Fourteen ninety five. Um that is ridiculously low. Uh that is crazy low actually. Is my man that's about three pound twenty five a strand, is it? Something like that? Three seventy three? That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. 373. Shows a good mind maths, is, isn't it? <laughs> uh, for, <laughs> come on, I've had a long day. Uh, 0800. Uh, Vicky was here, she'd have added it up, right? Uh, 0800. Six, she's a machine. Uh, 0800. 644. 655. Uh, £14.95 pence uh, for your raving reds. Uh, those are available. You're coming in for those. Well done. Uh, that is your showstopper. Uh, are we, are we going to do the other bundle now? Uh, with the cords, oh yeah, here we go, the uh, neon satin cords here, do you get everything here, there's a lot on here, so, um, is this your, this is your, uh, uh, um, is this what you use? Yeah, With yes. the uh, Kina, no, Kumihimo, Kuma, Kuma. <laughs> that one, that one, that one, you yeah. just call it Kumini Watsumi. That's what Ku Jenny calls it. Kumini Watsumi. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Kumini, uh, Jenny, I'm going to pinch that. Uh, Kumini Watsumi. Uh, brand new today. So, uh, a good selection here. A brilliant selection. Great, fun colours. You might have some other colours at home you want to put a pop with, or you might want to take these and make a really bright piece of jewellery. You've got some great colour tones that go together. So, you've got your teal blue and you've got your sort of navy royal blue at the front there. Those two will look amazing together with, with a drop of the sort of. Uh, neon pink at the top i think that would make an amazing colored braid um, and when you're doing kumihimo you see little bits of the color coming through so it's yeah. lots of little dots of color or you can have stripes depending on how you set your disc up when you're doing the braid okay. so you don't see the whole color all the time so you might think oh gosh she's a bit bright but yeah, yeah, you only see yeah. little pops of them all the time coming down the braid yeah. they actually quite tone themselves into each other and it you end up with a beautiful fusion of colors so nice. don't be afraid to use something brighter, and especially, you know, that multicoloured reel at the top. I was just going to say about that. So I use that, that a lot. Of, so does that graduate just through the colours, does it, it does. as you go so through? If you don't want to, if you're not very good at putting colours together, use that reel, and it'll just do all the colour matching for and you. And you'll see all the little piece, bits and pieces yeah. that goes through all the different yeah. gemstones. Great, great pack, this. Uh, now then, 50 <coughs> metres. Uh, multi-colour satin cord pack, 10 spools, and you've got 60 carats of your colour-coded quartz as well, so you've got your little, uh, a couple of gemstone um, strands there as well, 60 carats of pink colour-coded quartz, and 50 carats of your London blue colour-coded quartz as well. Uh, they're made for each other, those, aren't they? 
the uh, the quartz and the spools definitely made for each other and all those so how many how, what's the length on each of these spiel uh, spiels spool, I'll get there right in a minute each of these spools is it oh I so it's not 50 meters it's five meters on each one again that's there's a lot of jewellery in there, isn't there? There is, and you know, if you um, are into doing any of the knotting work, the macrame work, um, if you're into doing that the French bobbin knitting that you have yep. the bobbin for, brilliant, or for all of those mediums. Um, and sometimes you don't, you know, if you're just dabbling, you might not want a great big reel of every colour. Yep. We do, bit, do do larger reels of some of the colours. So you might not want a great big reel, you might just want a little bit to get Again, going. It's like, it's like the leather cord yeah. earlier on, isn't it? If you yeah. find you use more of one colour, then you can buy a bigger reel next time. If you and find you're using yeah. uh, like a, a, one of these colours like in a, in a huge way, yes. then you invest a bit more and you get a bigger That's reel of it. that. And you've still got these in your armoury as well. Um, you know, sat, sat there in your, in your, in your jewellery maker box. And when you do suddenly think, I need a bit of green or I need a bit of blue, it's there. It's there. Uh, get involved. Let's get the price on. I didn't even realise we hadn't got the price on. Uh, Fourteen pounds ninety-five. You've just you've just got to top me, stop me talking, Dean. That's the trouble. Uh, Fourteen pounds and ninety-five. But but but. Dun 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 dun. Get involved. Get involved. Get involved. Price slash. Uh, Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Be gone. Be gone. Fourteen pounds ninety-five. I laugh at you. <laughs> Eleven pounds and ninety-five pence. That is absolutely crazy time. You are getting a huge, huge selection of your neon colours in here. Uh, Ten different spools, uh, neon pink. Uh, you're getting all this, and uh, the, I think multicoloured is where I'm. Uh, I like that. I do like that. Such an easy, easy thread to work with. <laughs> I'm is that passing the buck a little bit with the multicolored? Is it? So I, I can't think which ones to use. I'll use the multicolored one. Well, no, I think it's also it's great if you've got children as well because they don't always know what colours to put together, yeah, yeah. so they yeah. don't have to think about yeah. it. It's done for them. Uh, the spools on their own uh, are normally nine ninety five. Uh, no one, uh, so you're getting uh, like each of those for a pound. That's all right, isn't it? That's all right. Good bargain. It's a bargain. It's yeah. a bargain. You heard it from Sarah. It's a bargain. Uh, Eleven pounds and ninety-five, uh, ninety-five pence. Uh, that has been price slashed for you this evening. Uh, these are going to sell out, by the way. These are going to sell out. So please, if you want them, if you want them, now's the opportunity. Now's the chance to really uh, jump on that line and get hold of these. Eleven ninety-five. So you're basically getting these for a pound each. That's right. That's that strand. Strand for a pound. I know. Oh. We should do a we should do a, a, a strand for a pound day. I get shot for saying stuff like that. I know. <laughs> Don't say that. Uh, uh, this bundle would normally cost you twenty two pounds and eighty five pence. Twenty two eighty five. Look at that. Eleven pounds ninety five and all your different colours. Hi, I'm blue and red. Hi, I'm multicolored. You've got all these different colors here. I'm just going to ruin the display now and put them all out for you. If you want them, they're going to sell out. They are going to sell out and, of course, drapes them seductively in front of the spools. Uh, you have got uh, your two strands, which basically you're getting for a pound. 11 pounds and 95 pence. 0800 6246 5 uh, now, uh, we've got a wire work workshop, that's a mouthful isn't it, you've got a wire work workshop coming up, uh, so we're going to have a quick break and we can tell you a little bit about that, but I've got lots more coming up, so uh, don't go anywhere. Um, I'm going to stay here, I'm not going to turn into someone else, I know you've had two presenters uh, already, but uh, the constant, the talent is always constant, and that is Sarah, so we'll be back after the break. Join jewellery maker and specialist guest designer Louise Jacobson for our basic wirework course. This class is suitable for complete beginners who wish to learn simple wire wrapping techniques to create stunning structural designs. Louise will teach you all the essential skills to get started, including basic spirals, double connectors and much, much more. The full course includes a range of different wire gauges, a bead scoop, use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet the presenters, and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. 
All of this for just $69.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Today I've been on the Wire Work for Beginners course and it's been really helpful to me. I've bought wire and I've bought tools and not really had the confidence to use it because I'd feel like I was wasting it. So to come along and be shown exactly what to do and have one-to-one -one tuition has been brilliant for me and it's really given me the confidence to go ahead with my jewellery making. So we're going to be looking at the kit uh, very, very, very soon. But before that, I'm going to show you those Peridols. And look at this. Brand spanky. I love working with you, Dee. Do you know that? Uh, have <laughs> uh, we have got, we have got, clear. I'll let you know. Uh, we have got here your, <laughs> your round Peridols. These are brand spanking new. Is that right? Brand spanking new. Sorry, Mark. I'll make up the decision. Uh, uh, Mark, which where where, where, I'm, where I'm going to put these in a minute. Uh, these are coming up. So Perido beads. My gemstone as well, Claire. My gemstone. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you were going to say you were born in August, Claire. But uh, enough. Yeah, everyone else was thinking that, Claire. Uh, right. So these are coming up uh, on tonight's show. Brand new. Uh, brand new. Brand new strand. Uh, right, uh, we've got what, sorry? Well, we've got four millimeter gems. Is that these here on, on my left? I've been looking at these, these are lovely. These are lovely. Do you know what, I've got, I, I think hair braids when I see these. These are gorgeous, have a look at this. Uh, very, very nice. Love, that's a huge selection. That is going to absolutely sort you out. Well, you know when you're in that little trouble spot, you need that little spacer bead, that is absolutely going to sort you out with that one there. Uh, look at me, I'm almost a jewelry, I'm almost a jewelry maker, Sarah. Almost, almost, almost. Right, uh, this is the kit. Do we have any fancy graphics or anything that comes in? Do we? Do, no? Okay, uh, here we go. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know whether there was like a showstopper kit launch thing or anything. No, just go straight into it. No. 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 It's a kit launch. Uh, we have got here your candy stripe. Uh, candy stripe. And I'm intrigued by this one here. I must admit, I'm very, very intrigued by this one here. Uh, I am cheating and I'm looking up. Are they Rhodonite rice beads? Are they? Is that right? Wow. Road Knights are really interesting gemstone as well. They are lovely. Yeah, I'm going I'm to pop these off the... Uh, have a look at this colour. I've not seen um, this, uh, this Road Knight colour before. Um, that is lovely. Real unique. So you've got 140 carats of your Road Knight uh, rice beads. You've got 100 carats of your rose quartz and your plain rounds, and 250 carats of black agate faceted rounds, uh, 10 millimeter gemstones there. Uh, you've got 50, also within this kit, uh, you've got uh, 50 meters of beading thread, which I'm assuming is that one there. Am I right, is it the thinner one? No, the bottom one, is it? Like, is it like a wire, is it? Look, okay, so you've got 50 meters of your beading thread, um, 80 millimeters of monofilament, that'll be that one, that, that one there, yeah, and uh, six meters of clear elastic. So, see, it's good, it's good if you've just started jewelry making to watch me, because I ask all the questions that uh, you're probably sitting at home maybe wanting to ask, or maybe you're not. Uh, so basically, um, elasticate exactly what it is, uh, that little bit of elastic for that little bit of give, and your monofilament is pretty much the same type of piece, but it's not elasticated at all. So, 
you have here every, um, every, everything you need, really. Uh, and you've also got your uh, collection of copper findings, silver plated copper findings. There they all there. Um, wow, do I need to read, do I read those out? Do, do you want me to read those out? Okay, you've got uh, 10 uh, copper balls, you've got five uh, copper rondelles, you've got one toggle clasp, one bolt ring clasp, one uh, twist oval loop, 10 copper head pins, uh, 40 millimeter, uh, you've got 10 copper eye pins, you've got one lobster clasp with a jump ring, uh, three ribbon cord ends, uh, 10 open jump rings, 30 crimp beads, and 20 crimp covers. Uh, everything you need to get started and make some jewelry now this is brand new in today brand spanking new in today and uh, you can get those for a great price it's the kits that we've made up we we'll always give you a great savings uh, on the kits that's the whole idea of bringing you the kits so you can uh, uh, you can get a huge selection of pieces you can really get started with your kits or you can just and you can uh, completely add to your uh, to your armory uh, with pieces such as this. So three strands. Uh, you've got a lot of your filament there, your beading thread there as well, and all those findings as well. Brand spanking new today, and all for under twenty pounds, nineteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Uh, I mean, that's when you think you're looking at um, you know under seven pounds for your strands alone, uh, which is a great price. And then you've got everything else on top of that as well. Nineteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Uh, candy stripe jewellery kit. Uh, now, um, Sarah, when did you get this? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk and talk. I'd had this about multitasking, maybe a week, and, a week and a half, but I needed to get it made very early because I'm making for shows in advance at the moment. Oh, okay. So I've got quite a few shows coming up, so I'm busy working on next week's shows. Oh, so you've got to be organised. <laughs> That's why you need that jewellery maker thing with all the bits in it. That's it. We're, we're constantly working ahead of where yep. we are, so sometimes it's a surprise when I get to the studio. I can't actually remember what I made with the kit, so it's quite nice. <laughs> Made that much jewelry this week. I don't know what I've made. <laughs> right. Oh, now before we start, we've got a little surprise as well. A little surprise for you. It's not going to stay at nineteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Wow. Oh yes. Check this out. Price slashing down again. So uh, there's a lot of jewelry being made out of this kit, and we're taking it to sixteen pounds and ninety. We always like to keep you on your toes. Always like to keep That's you on your toes. So very, very low price. That's a great, great it is price. Amazing. Uh, did you use everything? Um, I had a few of the beads left over. That's all I had. Um, and um, so I used all the chain and I had some findings left over. So you, you've got so much in this kit that you can really be gem heavy. You don't have to worry. I mean, you can just mix and match them and they all go beautifully. I was just going to say that they all seem to work well with each other, all the different beads on their own mixed and match so you've got really loads of options and it was you? a kit that worked very easily together so it wasn't a difficult kit to put together it wasn't one that I thought oh I can't put that shape with that shape and I can't put that color with that color because it's done for you if you're a novice it's a great kit because it's mainly rounds um, you've got a, a the sort of difference between having um, smaller rounds and the bigger rounds and then you've got those lovely rice beads that aren't too big they're just beautiful and the, the colours on them are just so gorgeous and it just all works. I think they're my favourite the rice beads. They just give a little extra element they make your jewellery go in a different direction so if you're brand new to making jewellery you know it depends on with that bracelet it depends which way you put those beads if you replace the rice beads with the um, rose quartz Yep. you get a different look again yep. with them just running a different way through the bracelet. So two looks at the price of one just by changing the way the beads appear in one piece of jewellery. See, I love, I love the simplicity of that little drop yeah. just of your silver chain on the bottom yeah. of those earrings. I think they are absolutely gorgeous, those. And, you know, they're so delicate that you could wear those every day to work. Um, but if you, you know, if you can't wear earrings at work for whatever reason and you're just nipping out you know for a couple of drinks with the girls after work if that yeah. happens when you have children well, I, that doesn't I, happen. I often nip out with the girls after work <laughs> when you've got children no, I don't, it doesn't Lucy. Happen no I don't Lucy I never <laughs> nip out with the girls after work <laughs> well you know you can have those in your handbag ready to go you know you can yeah. have these pieces of jewelry yeah. ready to go in your handbag pop them on you know and it changes that you know work outfit from a work outfit to an evening outfit 
It's uh, and again, I think when you've got such beautiful individual beads, sometimes you don't. You, less is more, isn't it? Sometimes you don't want to swamp them when yeah. you've got beautiful yeah. patterns on them. So those those rice beads there and that pair of earrings, I just picked two that were similar tones. Yeah. That had a similar tone of pink and a similar amount of black on them. So it wasn't. You know, you're not going to get two the same because that's just not the way Mother Nature works. Yeah. So they're all going to be different, but just getting two similar toned ones works beautifully for earrings. That's absolutely right. Right, do you want to, uh, are you going to show us a little, little trick of the trade? I'm going to show you how to make the feature on the bottom of that necklace. Okay, so the feature on the bottom of this, yes. here we go. So that's what we're going to make, which is sort of a bit sort of a Victoriana type inspired piece. Yeah. Of the brooches they would wear at that sort of time with those tassels dangling down. They would normally yep. have been pearl um, in there, but it's sort of a bit inspired from that. So to start off with, um, I'll just show you what I've, I've done at the bottom here and I'm going to show you how to do this so if I put this over on here um, I've made the tassels already so I've made the centre tassel which is one of the pink uh, rose quartz uh, one of the black beads and a pink quartz put onto um, a head pin and just with a loop and seven links of chain so that's the centre one and then I'm going to show you how to do the, the, the matching one on, either, on this side so what I've taken so I've taken a head pin and I've added on there um, to the bottom and the top of it of one of those rhodochrosites um, the flat button beads, the spacer beads that you get in your kit. And these are beautiful, they sit pure, perfectly on top of yeah, these yeah. so they're lovely. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off my excess and you, what you want to do is when you're starting leave more than you think you need. When you're like me, I can make a very small loop on the end, but when you're starting and you're making loops, your loops will be bigger um, than when you have more practice, you'll get smaller loops. So you want to leave yourself about a centimetre of um, your head pin and just cut that off. Always face down onto your mat so it doesn't ping away. Um, and you can keep you know, any little bits you've got and you can use those uh, in all sorts of mediums, things like resin and your enamel and things like that. So you can use them on all of those. Um, and then with your pliers, Take it about a third of your round nose pliers and twist away from yourself until that meets and then I normally just pull that back. I know this is a bit of a naughty way of doing it but this is the way I learned donkeys years ago and you'll end up with a little loop on top of, of that. Okay. And then what you need to do is you need to turn that and open your loop. So you've made it perfect, don't um, spoil it at this point by pulling it out of shape, just lift it away from your finger. You see, that's just open just a tiny bit. Oh, so don't bit. pull it out. Don't pull it see, out. See, I would have. I probably would have pulled that yes. out. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that will lose the shape of that circle. Add on your chain, and I always do it on top of my finger. That's stopping anything from moving away. Um, and then, oh, not those ones. Uh, then using your flat pliers again, bring that back in, and then you have that perfect little tassel ready to add on. So what we're going to do now is I've already set up on my mat. Um, one of my long tassel spaced out with either side uh, with one of the black beads um, and then I'm going to add on my last of my tassels onto this side if I pull that down you'll see how that's coming and then what you want is to have six of the black beads in total so I've got four, five, six and this is going to create the circular base that the rest of the pendant sits on yep. And then what I'm going to do is take my beading thread through the last bead I added and cross the beading threads through that bead. So that creates um, like a, almost like a tying shoelace. It sort of creates that stopper effect and I can then pull that into a circle. So, oh, excuse me. Good save. <laughs> uh, so I've now got my circle with my tassels already added. This is a great way for saving findings as well because I've not used any jump rings or anything else. I've just used, used the chain. Okay, yeah. Um, and I'm always looking for a way to, to save findings. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I need to create a centre piece to add all my rose quartz onto. And that is just adding another um, one of these black beads. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to take it across my centre point. And then I'm just going to take my beading thread back through the one opposite it. So I'm going to do this, try and do it without being in screen, like so. So I've just literally taken that across, across here and through the opposite bead and then if you pull that you'll get a little circle, sort of flower shape. What you want to do with your threads, and I won't do it for time because we don't have a 
an awful lot of time for demos, um, is to go back round once in a complete circle uh, with both threads. So take one thread through three beads and the other thread through three beads. Okay, to so hold, the, hold all the So structure hold together. this really tight for yeah. you. I'm just going to hang on to my threads as best I can. And then all you're going to do with the rose quartz is you're going to take oops, one of the rose quartz and you're going to add that on. And you're going to take it across and see where it sits. So it might sit there. And then you're going to just thread it through either the center bead or one of the side beads just to anchor it, like so. And then you're going to carry on that process, literally just taking it through and anchoring the rose quartz on oh until yeah. you get the finished piece you've got there. So you've got all the pieces oh, around. Yeah. And I've just, as I've gone, any little gaps I found, I just added one of the silver spacer beads, right, just yeah. for focal point. And then to finish it off, can I show you on the back of that one yeah. there? Um, is what I've done on the back, if I hold this up to the camera, um, can you see I've taken my threads across the back and I've anchored them with two crimp beads. Can you see that across the back there? Those two crimp beads just there, those little silver square bits, there we are. So basically just pull it all tight at the end. And I've used two for extra strength because one's great but two is just an extra added bonus yep. and you get so many in the kit, why not? And then all I've done is added through the beading thread a jump ring here just to add on the chain and that's your finished piece. Very, very simple, Look at very that. easy. Look at that. I always thought it was a, uh, um, a bee bead when, you, when I first saw that. Yeah. It's a very similar sort of look, isn't it's it? It's basically, this is just all freehand beading. Yeah. So I've just gone wherever I thought the beading wire wanted to go. I didn't want a uniform look. I didn't want it to be perfect. I wanted it to have that sort of feel of, of vintage, of a little bit yeah. ad hoc feel about yeah. it. And I, I love pieces of jewelry like this that aren't quite perfect because I, I like symmetrical things and I have to push myself out of the comfort zone to do these but <laughs> I like doing it <laughs> I like the challenge yeah. yeah yeah well yeah, I mean you got so many pieces of jewelry out of that and yes. a great price 16 pounds 95 uh, still available uh, thank you very much Sarah once You're again uh, job well done uh, we've got a showstopper coming up I've got eight seconds apparently to get back better quick quick Uh, thank you very much. The always talented, always talented and effervescent Sarah, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. You know, I did the show by myself. I, I tell you, I did the show by myself once. It's, it's a lot easier with the, with the resident expert beside me. Can I ask all the questions that need to be asked? <laughs> I don't know. Right, uh, I, li I like this. I like this. All these different colours in here. All these different colors. So, how many strands do we have in total? Uh, ten individual strands. Wow, wow! Look at all these here. These are all four millimeters. Uh, you have got forty carats of uh, ruby zoocyte, thirty carats of black striped agate, thirty carats of mukite, thirty carats of tourmaline. 30 carats of green agate, uh, 30 carats of multicolour agate, 52 carats of multicolour agate, uh, 40 carats of multicolour chalcedony, 50 carats of garnet, wow, uh, and 35 carats of fancy jasper in there as well. Um, immediately I'm thinking beady beads for these, uh, but of course again as those as a spacer piece isn't it, you know, if you need that little spacer piece in there. Yeah, again if you're into the bead loom work, these are brilliant for bead loom, they're a perfect size, yep. um, they're a little less fiddly than the 3mm, but yep. you still get the beautiful patterns and colours you've got in all of those different strands and you can just make zigzags or you know, do squares or whatever yep. patterns you want um, and the easiest way to design a pattern for the bead loom is just to draw it on a piece of squared paper. Okay. Um, and you just draw however many rows you've put on your bead loom. So if you put five rows, you'll have five little boxes to be yep. put in there. And then just colour them in. I just colour them in with my kids' felt tip pens. Oh, right, okay. And just make the design on there. When you're happy that you've got the design, you can just follow that on the bead loom. There is an amazing selection of colours on here. An incredible, incredible uh, selection of colours on here. From uh, the blues, the greens, uh, the multicolours in here, the garnets. You've got a strand of garnets in here as well. Uh, and so many beads. I mean, just to give you an idea, uh, you are looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 there. 10, uh, it's about 10, 20, 
30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So I would say there's at least 100 on each of these strands, at the very least 100 on each of these strands. Uh, brand spanking new in today. Uh, this is uh, this is the sort of piece I imagine that you that you use all the time and you just, you sort of use without actually knowing that you're using them as well. And then all of a sudden you reach <coughs> for, your, um, uh, for, for your gems one day and you realize <laughs> you haven't got any left. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's about restocking all the time with these sorts of pieces. They're great for doing the pieces around the back of the neckline as well, where you wouldn't want a, a heavier gemstone, a larger yep. gemstone. They're great for just doing that. If you want to have a fully gemmed neckline piece, to use those for the back of the neckline as well. Yep. Um, but they're great for all sorts of work. If you're into your macrame, right. they're great. If you want to use them to go through the center of the Viking weave, brilliant, a great size okay. for that. Um, and it's just great for everything because they're just a really easy size to use. And there's so many of them, so many of them here, uh, all four millimeters. It's a brand spanking new kit in today. So you're getting uh, these four millimeter specials. Um, and again, lovely colors, lovely designs. Um, they was, these would normally cost you 43 pounds. Uh, 43 pounds for all of these together uh, if you bought them separately. But of course, it's a showstopper. We're gonna do, we're gonna do, a deal 29 pounds and 95 pence 29.95 for your individuals at 10 wasn't it really three four five six seven eight nine ten individual strands that is crazy and guess what just when you thought it was safe to dial dial now because we're not stopping at 29 pounds and 95 pence because we're going even lower. We're going to less than two. I thought you weren't allowed to go to less than 250 a strand. Well, we've done it now. <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, 24 pounds and 95 pence. That is ridiculous. Less than two pounds 50 a strand. So uh, if you go into a shop and it's it's like um, it's th th these are like strands where you get the uh, these are like bead scoop versions of strands, aren't they? Really, yeah, these they're brilliant. I mean, fantastic opportunity. Twenty four pounds and ninety five pence for these uh, four millimeter specials. If you want to grab them, let's show you these a uh, uh, little bit individually because I love all the different colours uh, that you can see on. I mean, look just in this one strand alone all those wonderful multi-colors in there, all individually faceted as well. So as you turn it, you get that lovely uh, surface luster off the top of the gemstone there, giving you that beautiful, beautiful sparkle. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna say, these are your garnets here as well. Uh, lovely, deep, rich, red garnets. Uh, there's 50 carats of garnets. I mean, two pounds 50 for a strand of garnet. Hello, yes please. Uh, if you would like to get this, it's brand spanking new in tonight. Brand spanking new in today. Uh, 24 pounds and 95. What was that? Sorry, D. Uh, it's, uh, are these uh, are these still available? But okay, less than 15 available now. Less than 15 of these available. They've gone very very quickly indeed. And I'm not surprised that 24 pounds and 95 pence. That is absolutely crazy. So 24 pounds and 95 pence. Uh, there we go, we're getting down to single figures on those now, so if you would like them, grab them, grab them, grab them, 0800 655 Let's go for the pink wire, so one thing I like is a ni nice bit of pink wire, more wire, or if you want wire by the way, a quick look at this, 300 meters of wire we had from earlier on, still available on the web, uh, still available on the web if you want, that's 300 meters, uh, it's buy two, get one free, buy two, get one free, so have a look on the web for that as well. Uh, more wire for you now. More wire, we have got the beautiful pink. Uh, what did you just call it, Claire? Girly wire. Girly, oh, is that what it's called? Is that gir girly wire? There we go. Uh, if you fancy some girly wire in your life, uh, then uh, the beautiful pinks, we are looking here, 0 0.25 millimeters, one millimeter, and 0 0.8 millimeters. Uh, each of these, uh, I like two of them are 10 millimeter, uh, 10 meters, sorry, one's 15 meters in there as well. So again, we have these uh, the smaller spools. We've also got um, uh, we have the larger spools available. But I think these sorts of you know it's good to get these sort of size if you're just starting if you're starting out for the first uh, for the first time. These are a great way of seeing what colours you're going to use. Now then, we've got a deal, a deal, a deal, a deal for uh, 35 meters. 
35 meters, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think we can do? It's a show show stopper. It's a double show stopper. Oh yes, it's gonna be a whopper. It's gonna be low. It's gonna be are you ready? You want wire? You wanna try wire out? You don't want to break the bank? Boom, boom, shake the room, tick, tick, tick. Boom. Eight pounds ninety-five. Eight pounds ninety-five. That is unbelievable. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous deal there. Uh, thank you, Dee. I'm sure there's a lot of wire workers out there going, ooh, eight pounds ninety-five. Eight pounds ninety. Oh, very, very nice. Eight pounds. Well, if you want to get it, they are limited, so you need to jump on the line rather quickly. 0800 644 uh, for your three uh, different sizes. You've got your Fuchsia in uh, 0.8 millimeters, 10 meters of that. Uh, you've also got your Fuchsia, uh, your Fuchsia? <laughs> you got your Fuchsia mapped out here with 35 meters of wire. Uh, you've got your Fuchsia in 0.25 meter, uh, point, yeah, 0.25 millimeters, sorry, 50 meters there. And you've got your Fuchsia in uh, one millimeter wire uh, and that's 10 meters of that there you're uh, I suppose with the one millimeter uh, one millimeter wire that's gonna sort of hold its shape a lot more isn't it as well that's a structural framing wire so if you want to make is that the minimum size for structural framing um, one? you can double up and use the point a if you're doing things right. like gizmo work if you're doing the gizmo work and you've made a coil and you want yep. to use um, a point it's the windy windy thing, windy isn't it? Windy yeah, thing, yeah. yeah. Um, so once you've made those coils, you can use this as a core wire, um, point out as a core wire. That's not a problem at all. Um, if you need extra strength, you can always double up the point okay. eight as well. So it's not a problem. And if you've got the wire twister tool, you can twist and make um, a thicker gauge wire out of that. So all these are good for the gizmo. All good for gizmo. All good for the gizmo. Yes. Ten meters and fifteen meters. I've got what? Sorry. I've got two. I've got two words. <laughs> uh, I've got two words on my screen. Uh, priceless. <laughs> I thought you said I'm I'm too weird on screen. <laughs> You're too weird on screen. Oh, sorry. Shall I go? <laughs> Oh, that's all right. We'll get, you know, we'll get someone else. It's only be the third presenter they've had tonight. Uh, price slash six, six pounds ninety-five. That is ridiculously low for three coils. There, uh, six pounds. I'm too weird. I'm too weird for screen. Apparently, <laughs> uh, I've got two words on screen. Price slash uh, six pounds ninety-five uh, for those there. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Uh, if you want to uh, join them, of course you can always go on the web uh, jewelry.com. Uh, six pounds and ninety-five pence. Uh, don't forget as well. We've got the uh, we've got the Peridot coming up. Uh, we're going to do that next. I'm very excited about the Peridot. I do like a bit of Peridot. Uh, six pounds ninety-five for the wire. It's been slashed. It's been price slashed, uh, and it's all yours. Brand spanking new in. Uh, I do. I do like a nice brand spanking uh, new collection. Uh, We've got a brand speaking new Peridot for you coming up for you right now, right now as well. Peridot, olivine family, an idiochromatic gemstone. You know, you'll only ever find Peridot in the color green. Uh, you'll never find it in another color because its chemical makeup um, is what gives it its color. You have got here. Um, beautiful round beads of the peridot. Do you see? I don't know if I've ever presented peridot on jewelry maker. You normally see it if you if we have got it in um, sort of the chips and nuggets. Okay. Um, okay. And um, very rarely do we get it in the rounds. So well, it's really we've unusual. got it for you tonight. Brand new in today. Again, uh, you are the uh, the premier viewers. To see this, you're looking at uh, 70 carats, 70 carats of Peridot plain rounds, approximately uh, five millimeters each of those. And again, so many in the one strand as well. Uh, a great selection here. Let me just see if I can uh, slowly, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. So again, we're getting around 70 
individual beads, 70 individual peridots, uh, your plain rounds, five millimeter plain rounds in here. Um, and you're gonna get them for a great price because we're gonna uh, bring you a showstopper price on this. Uh, brand new in today. 12 pounds and 95 pence for your peridot august birthstone and of course the greens uh we're getting towards that season and won't mention it again but uh again you know the uh, little hints of greens of course always going to come in handy and these are the sort of pieces that are a little bit more difficult to source <coughs> you know your peridot obviously peridot is used um, a lot in ready-made jewelry so um again a lot of the peridot al already goes out to be faceted and to be sent into jewelry so uh, uh to be able to get it at a good price like this and be able to bring it to you at a good price probably why you don't see it uh, uh very very often in this sort of size with this sort of color as well but a great opportunity and you've got to take these opportunities when they come about haven't you really you have because the trouble is if you you may not need this gemstone right this minute for a design but next week a customer might come along and say oh i really love greens and i want peridot yeah. Um, it happens to be, you know, a significant gem for me. I need that to be in my design. Yeah. And if you haven't got it, you may be struggling to, to source it. If, if yeah. jewelry maker hasn't got it, you're certainly not going to be able to get it on a, a really quick turnaround from anywhere else. I know yeah, that yeah. for a fact. Yeah. Normally, if you do purchase from anywhere else, it's a long turnaround because it's coming from wherever. Yeah. And you got got that guarantee of it actually being what you've bought because they're not going to give you the, the certificates that you get from here. Yeah. Um, if, uh, I have tried asking for them before from other places, and they're like, no, we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, how we do I know it's real? We can actually tell you what it is. Uh, yeah. We can actually <laughs> tell you what it is. Uh, this is Genuine Peridot, 12 pounds 95 brand spanking new in today. Uh, congratulations if you're getting that. Uh, now then, my aquamarine is this lovely selection here. Have I picked up the right one? These are lovely, lovely 130 carats of your different sizes. These are your faceted uh, nuggets uh, that you're looking at here. Just get the graphics. Oh, I won't get the graphics up. This is coming later on. Uh, this is the Night Owl. Uh, now, Sarah, whenever I sing the song, you've got to go, whoo, at the end of it, like an owl, all right? No. Going to be some sweet sounds coming down on the Night Owl. Whoo. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I won't do it as often as I do it because I do it to annoy Mark. So I know Mark doesn't like it. <laughs> so I do it sort of every five minutes for Mark. Um, j you know, j I don't really Mark if you're watching. Uh, right, next up, where are we going? Uh, box number six, which is a uh, lovely crisp and clear. You've got here your uh, clear quartz, clear quartz. Uh, these are, now I suppose you could uh, the, the great thing about this is you can put your coloured thread through these, can't you, and see the colours come can. out. And if you put any other coloured gemstones with them, they just pick all the colour up from yeah. around them. Yeah. Um, also, they're great if you just want a piece of jewellery that you can just put on top of something like a jumper. Do you want to pick up the colour of the outfit you're wearing? Yeah, brilliant. For yeah, of course, of course, would have pick up the different different tones, wouldn't it? Uh, the pink wire, yeah, the pink wire that we just did that would be amazing. Mm. Of course, if you got. Uh, uh, different colors uh, running through. You're gonna get those little uh, flashes of red coming through them as well. So uh, um, again, it's a great way of picking up those colors from around, because that's basically what a lapidurist does, is he picks up the colors from around the gemstone rough. And if you've if you got a piece such as this, um, then uh, you're gonna pick up the colors that you use alongside this piece. Uh, again, low stock, low stock, last of stock on these. Uh, we're bringing these down to six pounds and 95 pence. Six pounds, 95, 70 carats of your clear quartz. That's crazy talk. That there is crazy talk. At six millimeter star cut uh, faceted. Star cut, is that this type of faceting that's in there, are they? I'm gonna be really nosy now and have a quick look. Is that all right? That is, oh, I see. I've not seen that before, yeah. Yeah, it's like you've got like a little, where normally when you've got a, a faceted round, they, they sort of do it very much so you keep the round shape. But if I just, I don't know how close we can get in on that, but if I just rotate that, you can see, oh, here comes my, we're going for a close up. Uh -oh. We're going for a close up. Now what is unusual about this is as I turn it, you can see each point sort of appear on the horizon. 
Now I'm assuming that is what the star cut is, because if you just had your normal faceted rounds, you wouldn't see that point suddenly, see as I turn it, it sort of spins around and suddenly appears on the horizon of the gemstone. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. It's almost halfway between um, a brilliant, um, a briolette, a yeah. not a briolette, a bicone, yeah. and a faceted round. It's almost halfway between the two. It just that, that little point, just gives it that little bit more yeah. sort of, uh, um, um, uh, it just brings it to the fore a little bit more, doesn't and it? With a clear gemstone, what you want is all the light. You want those facets, you want the sparkle. Right. So having more yeah. facets and more sparkle on them just adds to the quality of the gemstone but for that to really work it's got to be a great quality gemstone and those are so I mean, these, clear. These are eye clean what yes. we, and these are what we call uh, uh, loop clean as well so if you look through a 10 if you look through a 10 times um, eye loop and you see no inclusion you can call it loop clean as well Ooh. so there we go uh, very nice um, box number 13 fluorite flowers uh, what was that we're gonna what we're gonna we're gonna slash the flowers Look at these. Now, fluorite is known as the most colourful gemstone in the world, and sometimes um, we do end up with just uh, a few different colours. But you can really see uh, when you get a band of piece of fluorite such as this, all the different colours that you can see within the pieces. I mean, they are lovely. They are lovely. All those different pieces there. Uh, these are good size as well, aren't they? Uh, 30 millimetres, so approximately just over an inch across each of these. I mean, there's almost a bracelet there by itself, isn't it, <laughs> really? That's, uh, that's gorgeous, that. Let's look at that. A mobile first piece of jewellery. There you go. Uh, 0800. So do I need to lean this far over? If I just, I'm gradually leaning further and further over, I think. I'm going to have a bruise across there. Uh, we're going to price slash these. Uh, this is what it should be. This is what it should be. Uh, 11 nights. See, that's good for those. That's good for those. Uh, two, four, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. A uh, thirteen in the one strand, nine less than a pound. Less than a pound each, and that's a again, that's a centerpiece, isn't it, of a design? I mean, if you're making, you know, got Christmas fairs coming up, you know, maybe wanted to make lots of pieces of jewellery that are quick and easy for you to make, but have great impact. If you were making these into different necklaces, different pendants, you might wire wrap one, you might just have chain from another, you might use a few, uh, maybe one as a focal point for a bracelet, but they're very easy to work with. You can make yeah. striking jewellery for sale on your stalls, or if you're giving gifts, can you imagine those? If you wanted to use those as table decorations, just to have one as a napkin ring holder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, yeah. It may not be that you want to do it at Christmas. You might want to have subtle tones during the year. Yeah. And if you use them for that, once you've used them, make them into jewellery afterwards. Yeah. That is a great idea. And um, again, if you're making individual pieces of jewellery, you've got 30, I mean, if you, if you want to make, because I suppose sometimes the, 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 the bad thing about uh, making your own jewellery is you only have one of each piece, don't you? You do. Whereas with a piece like this, you could make 13 of the same item. You've got all the gear there, you've got all the pieces, you know exactly what you're doing. You can knock 13 of them out really quick and stock up your store really quickly. But the great thing is, they're all individual. Yeah. So even if you yeah. make 13 pieces identically the same, so they might be on chain with a tassel, uh, with a few other gemstones at the bottom of the tassel, they're still going to be individual because fluorite has all that striation. All the different colours. All the different colours. Can I show you my, there, there's my favourite. There's my, Daniel's going, get off. <laughs> Move on. Uh, uh, that's, that's my favourite one there in the middle. You can't actually see it because of the light, but when I'm looking through the light, you get this lovely, lovely banding on there. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, right. Um, uh, box number two. Box number two. Where did they come from? Box number uh, 15. And we're going to box number dos. Don't start speaking foreign languages to me now. Dos. <laughs> Dos. No, no hablo espanol. Remember, we've had this conversation. Uh, I, used to, I used to have to call bingo on a ship that went to Spain. Uh, all I knew was it para la linea, para la bingo, and that was it. For the line, uh, they still got the amount in pounds. Uh, for the bingo, still got the amount in pounds, and all the numbers come up in the front of the machine, so I didn't have to know the numbers either. Uh, brilliant. Uh, there we go. Uh, not hablo espanol. 0800 uh, if you'd like to get hold of, again, Zircon. We're back to Zircon. Uh, there's wonderful sparkle first time on the late show now this is going to be a little bit more considered because you've got large zircons you've got 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 26 
individual zircons. These are good size zircons that you're looking here. So we're looking at uh, 5x4 to 7 by 5 millimeter in an 18 uh, centimeter strand. Uh, your zircon Again, that high refractive index, that wonderful sparkle that you get out of the gems there. Um, very limited stock. This is the first time, and with the amount of stock we've got, it's probably going to be the last time as well uh, for your Zircon. 0800 uh, or get on the web. Uh, don't forget, you can have a look back at the pieces we've already done throughout the evening as well, uh, but you've only got till 9 o'clock. So if you're just joining us, don't forget to keep looking back and seeing some. We've had some great deals on this evening. Uh, limited stock, $24.95. These are your Zircons, a little bit more specialist pieces. Um, and again, like I say, you're looking at a, a very, very sparkly gemstone here. Uh, you've got a doubly refractive gemstone with a high refractive index, as opposed to diamonds, which is a high refractive index, but is only singly refractive. So you get double the sparkle with your Zircon. Uh, 24 pounds and 95 pence, a nice, nice big drops. Oh, and we're moving on from those already. I told you they were limited. I told, sorry, I just whipped those straight out of shot there, I do apologize. Uh, box number, Box number seven, uh, 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 black spinel from the uh, Latin word for thorn because of the, uh, um, the crystal shape that it grows in. These are, in, these are really lustrous, these gemstones, aren't they? They are. They're just amazing. I love spinel. I love the fact that it comes in so many different colors as well. Yep. Um, but black spinel just the, the luster off it is, is amazing and when you put it into any jewellery it just captures the light so beautifully and just draws the eye to it. And it's really hard wearing because I think it's about seven or eight, seven on, or eight the, isn't it? on the most hardness scale so it's really really hard wearing gemstone as well. Highly polished, beautifully finished these. These are stunning, stunning jet black and of course black goes, uh, you can pretty much put black with most things can't you really? Yes. Uh, a great, great, great collection there of, quick count, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, four, about fifteen Oh, individual, I told you it was robust, about 15 uh, individual nuggets, 210 carats uh, and limited stock, last of stock, £7.95. Oh, I love a deal. £7.95, 0800 644 655, 210 carats of your black smell, graduated medium nuggets. Uh, you can see all your sizes there, but incredibly limited. Uh, welcome, brother. If you've just joined and you're going, who's this? Where's Vicky Carr? Um, basically, I was supposed to do the whole four hours, but I forgot I was on. Um, I've had a, it's been a busy week. It's been a busy week. Um, so uh, I, I did my first stint in the, on the lounge this morning, then I went home and I got a call. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm back in. So uh, Vicky very kindly did, did my first hour. Uh, seven pounds 95, seven pounds 95. Oh, 800, six, triple four, six, double five. Uh, beautiful luster, beautiful luster. Uh, I think people might think that, 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 that there's something wrong with Vicky. Uh, Vicky's fine. Vicky was filling. It's me that's got something wrong. I forgot I wasn't on air. Uh, so Vicky is fine. Vicky is absolutely fine. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's it's not you, Vicky. It's me. Um, yeah, I. Do you know? We, and I've got no one to blame either, Sarah, but myself. Didn't put it in my diary. Uh, £7.95. Uh, so the only reason Vicky was presenting is because she was doing my first hour. Um, box number one. Box number nine. Nine! Nine! Do you mean no or box nine? No, I never know. You're speaking so many languages to me this evening. Uh, you want to say what? Numero nueve. See, I'm from New Zealand. We only need to know one language because no one ever goes anywhere in New Zealand because it's so far. You know, the closest place is like three hours away, and that's uh, Australia, and they speak pretty much the same language as us. Uh, 0800 644 655. 
uh, multicolored beryl, uh, what's known as an allochromatic gem, colored by different elements that are close by. So you've got all these different colors here. Uh, when you look at these different colors, I mean, you've got uh, little uh, delicate pinks in here, so sort of morganite tones in there as well. Um, the pinks, I think it's manganese, uh, which gives the color there. With your blues, it's iron with the barrel, of course, gives you uh, aquamarine uh, as normal. And then with your greens, um, um, I won't say emerald because it's not quite green enough to be emerald, but it could be uh, chromium, vanadium, um, something like that, the mixing with the uh, uh, beryllium and all that to give you greens of your emeralds. But you've got these lovely pastel shades, low stock and a price slash. LSPS, low stock and price slash, uh, £14.95, that's a good price. That's a good price for a good selection. These are uh, your uh, graduated faceted sources. So you've got a lot on here. A lot on here. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So you've got over 50. Over 50 uh, on this one piece here. 14.95, but we're having a price slash, a tropical price slash. The price isn't rising, it isn't surprising, it's going real low 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 there we go uh 11 pounds and 90 a bit quick i know uh, uh 11 pounds 95 uh, 100 carats 100 carats of your multicolor barrel graduate fast graduate that's a mouthful there isn't it blimey like you work tonight. do you know what my cheeks ache after working here at Jewelry Maker, and it's because of names like that. Uh, 100 carats, multicolor, beryl graduated, faceted sources. I tell you, my Charlie, my little boy Charlie, he's, when, he, when he watches his mum, and uh, I'm going to get him to call out these names, he's going to have the best linguistic um, skills in school. Uh, he, he's already get, he's, he's, he's getting close to Hello Lionel, Lionel <laughs> the Bear. Uh. That was named by uh, by you lot. It's your fault that the first words my son's going to say is "Hello, Lionel." Uh, yeah, you know what that sounds like. Eleven pounds and ninety-five. Hello, Lionel. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Beautiful, beautiful colour on there. Uh, we have price slashed this for you. It's beryl, one of your classic gemstones, one of your absolute classic gemstones. And really lovely pastel colours on these as well, aren't they? They are. They're so feminine, so delicate, so yeah. easy to wear, easy to work with, and just. Having beryl, I mean, you know, how many people can walk down the high street and say they've got a collection of beryl and all those different tones? And they're just amazing. I love the different tones on there. It's something, and this is this is where it comes from buying all these different, having all these different strands uh, in your collection as well, in your collection <coughs> that you can use. So when you think, you know, I need a certain color, I need a certain piece, because again, you've got these lovely designs here, which are going to just sit perfectly on top of another gem. So you want to finish off a gemstone either end, or little, uh, just a, a simple finding either end of these, and you've got a, a lovely, lovely pair of jewelry there as well. Uh, Eleven pounds ninety-five. Uh, price slash that down. We are going to go to box 12, or we're getting larger, staying with the pastel colours, but we're getting larger. Wow. Wow, there's some big, big facets going on in these here. You have got uh, your rose quartz. Quartz uh, from the name Crystallis, meaning ice, because the ancient Greeks and Romans believed it was ice that never melted. You've got these wonderful, delicate, pastel pinks. Um, and again, we're looking at centerpiece pieces really here, aren't we, for a piece? Yeah, and also if you're making things like your asymmetric designs, you may want to have one of those at one side of the neckline, lots of different lengths of oh, chain, yeah. and have maybe a cascade of two or three down this side, yeah. so you can make beautiful asymmetric designs with it beautiful centerpieces of bracelets, um, wire wrappers heaven, these um, absolutely go to town on these, cage them, do your gizmo work around Again, them. Again, because you've got the nice square shoulders on here, that's, that'd be great to sort of wrap around yeah. each, side, um, each side and really keep them nice and secure. And you can do really easy wire work, don't think you've got to get really intricate like Rachel Norris's wire work, which is absolutely aspirational, yeah. but you can start off really easily, yeah. just take the wire across, and even if it's not as, as neat as you want, you can take your flat pliers and just kink it and you get like lightning ridges and your wire oh, going yeah, across yeah, the gemstones. Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. It looks so effective, 
very easy to do and it doesn't matter if each one's not the same it's great to have that individuality and you've got nice uh, you got, I mean there's only these are quite good size have we got, is there a size on there yeah 32 by 21 millimeters but you've only got three facets which again lends itself really to what you're talking about there doesn't it yes. with, the, with the less facets you've really got a nice flat surface to work and yep. put your wire on and it, these look great if you team them with any of the wires we do uh, they look great with the baby pink wire they yep. look great with the uh, bright neon pink wire we oh, do yeah, yeah. they look amazing yeah. with that um, so don't be afraid to put that really bright color because you can see with the thread that goes through them it's that sort of neon pink and it looks amazing with them but then you can take it on a vintage route with the antique bronze or a copper wire so just go go to town with them so many uses and uh, a lot of them two four six eight ten twelve uh, thirteen again thirteen good size pieces here i'll stop dropping them on the desk i promise oh eight hundred six triple four six double five because again they're real a, a nice weight to these as well uh, we're going to give you a great deal on these seven ninety five seven pounds ninety five um if you want to get into wire work if you want to have those big pieces for your uh, for your for your central um, um feature of your designs or the asymmetrical designs sarah was just saying uh seven pounds 95 i mean that's an incredible incredible look uh these are these are last chance items so please if you want that uh, get involved get involved uh now that we do one more then we're going to do a showstopper uh, which is your red color quartz uh, again nice uh, uh, and you can just sort of a little bit of, uh, um, of opaqueness to these as well so you're going to pick up just very subtly the color uh, of the white in between uh, you can get 45 carats of red color quartz limited stock on these uh, yeah, if you want to get involved we're bringing that price down then we're going to do a showstopper after this eight pounds 95 Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Uh, lovely design, uh, lovely look on these. You've got that little drop of your faceted drop. So you have your your classics, almost like a, a briolet with the bottom cut off. This isn't it really with the um, with the wire coming through the, the centre. It is, and these are great for if you want to do your floral pieces in your the vine work. You can do for hair combs, but you can also do it on neckline pieces. They're great for making floral designs. They're great as drops, like the drops we did on the pendant. Yep, they're yep. beautiful for that. Um, they're great when you cluster them together. Together. they're just amazing I love having lots of different shapes in my design box because they make you think differently when you have a different disc shape it makes you want to put different shapes with it as well so you might think you know what I can put the button shaped pieces or those uh, rondelles with it or you might yep. want to just take a different spacer beads and put them with it see I I, I sort of with one of the little four millimeter balls I can sort of see a little four millimeter ball just yeah. sitting on the it'd be a lovely way to finish something wouldn't it just yeah. put your um, is it a hairpin is that the one with the little the head pin uh, yeah yep. the head pin with the, with the end on it mm -hmm. and it's just a great way to finish a piece as well isn't it lovely finishes and it's great because you can take these um, if you're doing lots of drops I like to take them facing down and then yep. coming back up the middle facing upwards and it just draws the eye okay. on the neckline yeah, yeah. of the piece yeah. having yeah. those different shapes falling nice uh, £8.95 uh, what was that D showstopper next don't go anywhere showstopper coming up after this Show, show, stopper, show, stopper. We have got here um, your findings. These, uh, these look to me like shepherd's hooks, crooks. Am I, oh no, no, they're not. No, 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 they're not. No, they're not. I'm not even going to pretend. I'm not even going to pretend to know uh, what what these are for. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. Now, Sarah, help. <laughs> They're um, like a long shepherd's hook. Oh, okay. So they're just like an elongated shepherd's hook. So they sit with the, the earring will sit a lot lower. Okay. Have we got a picture of these? Can we? So we can. Oh, there we go. There yeah. we go. Uh, so basically, um, you thread them through 
your ear yes. with that piece there and then they drop down they drop down to the point and so you'll see the point will be at the top of your earlobe where your hole is yep. and then that silver will drop right down down the decolletage down the neckline yeah and it, you'll have a longer drop an elongated oh, okay. lie so for people who don't like uh, maybe to have too much swing and sway on their yep. earrings you're having that longer line look but you might only want to put a round on the bottom of there or if you if you you know sort of want that real statement earring yep. that shoulder duster you're yeah, already yep, part yep. way there right. without having too much chain and things dropping down again clears the hairline as well a little bit if it you does. wanted to sort of yes. yeah just below sort of a bob so it's similar if you like hair, yeah, hairstyle would, like yours it would, it would, clear it would, it would clear, wouldn't it and yes. you could have your design and then we've got uh, these ones here which is uh, same thing but they sort of uh, that one sort of tucks in and keeps itself yeah. nice and neat away I think they call these kidney wire earring findings but I'm not sure they might uh, not have done is it there is there a kidney finding yeah. earring findings. I don't know, I don't know why. <laughs> I've completely mucked that up, haven't I? But uh, these are really secure if you're the sort of person who has, you know, quite a, an active job maybe, yeah. but you want to wear an earring and you might be doing lots of lifting and bending and things like yeah. that, you're not going to have that tendency of, of them falling out of, of, of your um, piercing. So it allows you to have that little bit more security. These are great also if you have uh, something like a multi-strand of pearls, lots of different coloured pearls. Yep. Um, and you want to give it as a gift. You could make each different colour, just do a little wrapped loop on, the, on a head pin of each different colour of pearls, make a pair. Yep. Give a pair of those earring findings because they can thread them on and thread them off. Each um, different colour. Or change you could as have well three on, on the same earring finding at the same time. Oh, okay. So you could have, you know, uh, pink, yep. blue and green pearls yep. all together. Get, get them involved in, uh, in jewelry making themselves. There yeah. we go. Uh, brand spanking new in today. Uh, you have got these uh, gold plated over 95 sterling silver and your 95 uh, sterling silver. Uh, these would normally cost you uh, 15 pounds and 90 pence. We're going to go under. We're going to go under 10 pounds. So you get uh, 10 pairs. 10 pairs of each. That's right, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's 10 pieces, sorry, so it's five pairs. Uh, five pairs of each one, uh, nine pounds and 95 pence. Is there a, a drop on there? Yeah, four, is that 40 times 90 millimeters? How does, how does that work on there? Is that, uh, do we That'll be a, a drop by the, the width between that'll be the... That'll be a drop by the width, on oh, the width between yeah. there, is it? Okay, right, so so 40 millimeter drop on those. Uh, I think they're both pretty much the same, aren't they? Both pretty, yeah. Yeah, one slightly, it's probably about a 32 millimeter on the silver and 40 millimeters uh, on the gold <coughs> one there. Nine pounds at 95, brand spanking new. Uh, sorry, what was that? Uh, okay, uh, now then, uh, um, are they going to get told off or uh, we <laughs> Uh, we're going to, we're going to have a little, I'm not really going to get told off. Uh, maybe Vicky Carr's coming back, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> nine pounds at 95 for those. Do not go anywhere. Uh, do not go anywhere. We'll be back after the break and uh, we've got some more beautiful pieces coming up for you. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. We all know that you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have developed our very own tool set just for you. In this larger set, we have provided more tools to help you develop your jewelry making skills even further. The kit includes wire cutters, a bead reamer with replacement tips, an awl, tweezers with a scoop, a sliding gauge, a snip, and all the essential pliers you will need. All of this is yours for just $15.95, neatly presented in a carrying case with an embossed Jewelry Maker logo. Stay tuned for more advice, tutorials and demonstrations of jewellery making. We provide the tools, you provide the skill.
You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer at the studio store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call center. The new studio store. The experience just got better. Uh, welcome back, and it is time uh, for our kit. Before we do that, we're going to have a quick look at what's going up. Uh, the Night Owl, going to be some sweet sounds coming down on the Night Owl. Woo. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, this is your Aquamarine. Let me just move that kit. Uh, this is 130 carats of Aquamarine. Going under 15 pounds. 130 carats of aquamarine going under 15 pounds. Ho ho ho! We have also got blue color coated quartz. This is a lovely color here. Uh, beautiful, beautiful color on this. Uh, wonderful, almost uh, almost turquoise sort of tones coming out of there as well. Nice shaped uh, beads that you've got there too. Uh, that's coming up uh, as well. Uh, we've got a uh, silver collection for you. A silver what? A silver special offer. A stasher, sorry, a stasher offer. Uh, copper and, oh, oh yeah, got some nice T-bar class in there. Oh, there we go, there we go. Uh, a, a stasher offer. Uh, <laughs> I should have come to the rehearsal, shouldn't I, really? Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, we've got the kit and we've got, oh, got some lovely pieces down here as well. Are they last of stock, all those in there, are they? Oh, yeah, some nice, a real nice selection uh, in the little box to my side. Uh, now then, this is uh, Wild Savannah. And uh, you'll certainly see why when you see these wonderful colours uh, that we've got. Lovely, uh, almost sort of um, uh, terracotta, these lovely browns and, and cream colours. Uh, mixed in with these golds and these rich reds of the, uh, they are, I'm going to have a quick look because they look like garnet type gemstones. What are these, what's that here? Um, oh, they are garnet, 240. <laughs> I was like, I, was, I don't want to say garnet just in case it's not, but they are garnet. You've got your garnets um, in here. They're, they are lovely. I'm going to pop those off there and we'll have a look. Ruin Mike's display. Uh, you've got here all your different different colors. You've got, um, is that a double strand of garnet? Is that a double strand of garnet uh, in there? You have got your wonderful uh, copper uh, color-coated uh, hematites in there as well. You've got your bronze cultured pearl baroque beads and you've got your brown ocean jasper puffy rectangles, 18 by 14 millimeters in those. Uh, lovely colors. Uh, we've also got a selection of hemp cord for you, uh, which comes on there. Do we, uh, how much have we got there on the hemp cord? That is uh, four nine meters, so nine meters on each of those. So nine meters on each of those. Uh, we've got your uh, filament wire and we've got your elasticated wire. And we have got uh, the uh, bronze, is that the bronze beading thread? Yeah, the bronze beading thread on there as well. So all tying in together with those colors, uh, with the bronze there as well. We've also got your antique bronze findings. So have a look at all these here. I think that's one of my favorite, the antique bronze. A I do nice want to use because it's quite subdued. It's, yeah, it, and yeah. It's, it's you know it's not sort of a showy, shouty finding. I think it's quite classy. Yeah, I think it's quite understated elegance, isn't it? The, and it's uh, one that you can use with any gemstone yeah, because yeah. you don't necessarily have you know oh that's a gemstone I would use silver or that's a gemstone I would yeah. use gold. This one just works with everything. Yeah, and it's just yeah. really really easy, and you have no sort of preconceptions of it because it's not one that you would normally use. So it's it's great. It just uh, creates your freedom, allows you to get on with whatever 
jewellery making project yeah, you yeah. want and it's yeah. just a really nice and easy one to wear yeah well we've got a whole collection of them here uh, with the findings now this is uh, the kit brand spanking new today uh, now we're going to show you the price if you bought everything individually this is a great saving on this a fantastic fantastic saving on this uh, 36 pounds I mean I think that's a great price anyway I think that's an incredible price you know that's a lot lower than what I thought considering you got everything you got all those findings uh, you've got your garnet you've got a double um, double strand of garnet in here as well um, some really nice pieces uh, some really nice gemstones in here uh, that is uh, I mean we're already under 10 pounds Australian up without taking anything else into account that's really good price 36 pounds but I tell you what we're gonna do even better even better because we're gonna slash the price for the kit down to 19 pounds and 95 pounds that is incredible 90 pounds and 95 pence on that uh, look at these individual gems here I mean these are lovely you've got so many so many of your nuggets are on here and that is absolutely beautiful color lovely vibrant ribs in there uh, that's in your garnet you've got these lovely golds uh, these copper uh, color coated with the hematite you can see those wrapped around in there as well uh, you've got your baroque pearls again they work so well together they all just sort of intermingle with each other there uh, and you've got these uh, um, I do love these are they are they flat puffies what do we call these um, these are your ocean jasper puffy rectangles uh, puffy jet so I was looking up uh, to see uh, uh, what they were called I'm still not au fait with the terminology let's go let's go and have a look and see what Sarah has uh, uh, what Sarah's made with this now how long have you had this Sarah uh since well quite a movie start five o'clock oh okay so this is today this today is, yeah because yes. you get one a week before don't you a week or so week and a half didn't you the last yeah. one and you get this at the beginning of the show oh that's nice of them isn't it yeah, they give you loads of time loads of time i know so i've made uh, two bracelets but i've also made quite a, a sort of uh time consuming pendant which is is here so um i'll let them show, show that but i've made quite a sort of using the hem i like both of those yeah it's quite masculine so i'd wear, I'd wear both of those um, and using the love hemp, the garnet yeah and use the garnet there and just use the hemp in a slightly different knot um to to cage that together um, and to keep those two strands from moving about. Um, so that's quite a free form sort of knotting technique, which is really nice and easy to do. Um, and then the second one there is more of a sort of um, friendship style bracelet, shall we put it, but this is very, very sort of down with the kids, if you like. You know, it's what children are wearing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old, aren't I? Yeah, that's right, Sarah. I, 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 know, I, know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Sarah. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's the sort of thing that is stacked up and is worn and worn and worn, and it's the sort of thing you're going to just jump in the shower with. You're not going to bother to take yeah, it yeah. off. Go surfing with. Go surfing with it. Yeah, when and we go surfing. Sarah, the only find you know. it's... it's I <laughs> A dream of being on a beach again. <laughs> um, I'll watch people surf, I'll just sit there. Um, but the only findings in there are a few of the spacer beads that come in the kits, the antique bronze spacer uh, are beads. Those, I was looking at those. Yeah, so those yeah, are just they're those. just sort of uh, placed in there just, yeah. to, just to break up the design. So they come in uh, They come in with the findings there. They do. And the. So what's that technique called? Is that. It's just a friendship bracelet knot. Um, I will be doing more braiding and, and knotting yeah. techniques coming up. So it's just a friendship braiding knot and it's just the um, striped version. So if you, if you, I will show how to do this in the future, but it's a striped a friendship bracelet knot. Brilliant, brilliant. I do, I love that. Um, it, it's like <coughs> almost like a round turn and a hitch, isn't it? It sort is. Of, uh, <laughs> it's uh, a half hitch S, knot. It, yeah. Yeah. yeah, is that what it's called, is it? <laughs> Look at me, that's my scouts coming back, see? Yeah. That's double half hitch knots. I have me, uh -huh. I have me not badge, I tell you. <laughs> uh, and of course, you've got the copper findings on the, um, uh, the antique copper findings on the back there. It yeah. just works so well with those colours, don't they? All those lovely dark tones. Uh, and this and is the work in progress is, is here. Um, so um, it kind of evolved. I've been watching Harry Potter. Can you tell? <laughs> Do you know what it looks like? Have you watched Harry Potter? A uh, Quidditch. It's a golden uh, snitch. Is it a golden snitch? Yeah, there we go. with it's the wings on snitch. it. <laughs> I was going to be a flower, and I thought, no, it looks quite like quite like a golden snitch with the, with the gold in the middle and the little wings. Um, so <laughs> that's where we came from. This the is this is what we were talking about as well before, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. On the uh, 
with the zigzags and the lightning. Um, so you've got that there. If I can try and hold that up to camera. Could you is, could you show us a quick zigzag on yeah, something? A, a technique. Yeah, let me just grab some of my uh, copper wire. Oh, and also, I'm just going to pop this on there. Where would you like me to? Just while uh, Sarah's setting up, I'm just going to have a closer look at this while you're getting set up there. Yeah. Because this is what we were talking about before on the uh, on the rose quartz, wasn't it? The big rose yeah. quartz. Yeah, just the lightning ridges, and it's very very easy technique to do. I mean, I've been rushing to get this done, so uh, your wire work will have lots more calm <laughs> <laughs> um, rather than me just sort of. Oh, I've got to show something. Um, so what you need to do is cut. I always cut more wire than I need because any off cuts of wire, I always keep them on my desk and I think make things like clasps out of them, my own jump rings out of them. So don't panic if you cut more wire than you need. Um, so probably mm, about a foot would be more than enough. So we'll cut that. Don't panic about that. And Potter! <laughs> <laughs> what you do to start to off somewhere. with is to make um, a wrapped loop on the end. And so you do, you take your wire over your round nose pliers, like so. And then I take mine and I take it under. So I form that sort of P, letter P shape on my round nose pliers. Can you see? So I've got that right angle there. That'll allow you to come back round in front of your wire and loop it. And just keep doing that, like that until you've got a decent, nice, neat little spiral. What you want to do is make sure that however many you've got here, so four or three, is what you do on the other end. Okay, because it just makes your wire work look so yeah. much neater. Not like I did and just rush it. <laughs> there we go. So you can cut off that excess. We're not going to need that at the moment. And then what we can do is we can thread on one of our lovely, um, I don't know what these are, what are these? Jasper puffy rectangles. Lovely. Look uh, at me. Oh, woo, look at me. because you've got the details. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't look, honestly. Um, it's all up here. And if you're adding this onto a chain, before you make the next loop, you, you want to add the next link in. But I'll just show you how to do this. Or you can use jump rings in between if you forget. You want to go in the same direction as the link you've already made. This will make your jewellery sit better on the neckline. So right. if you have one going in one direction and one going 90 degrees in the opposite direction, the gemstones won't want to sit nicely on the neckline. So yep. you need to do make sure you're going in the same direction. Again, take your wire away from you. Take your pliers up to the top. Again, all the way over. And we're going to form that, that 90 degree again. So I've just done it, where I've just moved my pliers and I've got that 90 degree again. So now I can wrap my wire. And because it's on your round nose pliers, whoops, don't stick to my mat, you've got control of that wire. So there we go, I've got my, my equal links and I've got my loops going in the same direction. Okay, so that's how you've got that. And you can straighten that up if it's not quite straight, just equally straighten it up. So now to make the zigzags, very easy. I'm going to take my wire across the front of my gemstone, like that. Don't worry if it's not straight, it doesn't matter. I'm going to wrap it once around the base of the opposite end. I'm going to turn my gemstone over and take my wire across the back. Because if these flip over, you always want a little bit of detail yeah. on the back. <laughs> yeah. I'm always good for um, that emergency, if it just in case it happens. And again, take it around the front. Now you might want to go that way so it doesn't cross. If I get my hands in the right place. You see that's not quite, it's not crossing the other one. Yeah. And then under, hold that with your finger and just make a nice neat loop. And you might want to keep that tail and make a little spiral on it, like I have done on mine, or you might want to cut it off. For safety's sake at the moment, I'm going to cut it off. I mean, you just hide that in there somewhere, would you? Yeah, all just you do of... is it, that loose end, you would just take your um, flat pliers oh, yeah, yeah, and you just rock it round gently like that. And you'll find that that loose end will disappear between the other wraps if you do that, and you won't get a sharp edge. So there's no sharp edge there. Okay, yep. And just make sure you do the same on the other end, just to make sure there's no sharp edges. Now I've got my wires going across the front. So what I can do now is I've done them not too tight. I can actually get my fingernail underneath there. So what I can do is take my flat nose pliers, and I can just twist, simple as that, and twist the other one. And you get that sort of Dion lightning. Dion likes this. I can hear Dion on me go, oh, yeah, oh, right. Oh. She's taking note of this, Dion, I can tell. What that does also is it tightens those wires uh, against the gemstone. Yeah, yeah. So depending on how much 
ornamentation you want to do on it is how slack you want to leave, yeah. leave the so pieces those, to. Yeah, so those now, I can not I can get my nail under them, but only just. Yeah. And again, I do the same on the and back. And you, you just sort of feel the tension on the pliers as you turn yeah, them you do, to a point where... You'll feel it that yeah. you don't, you know, you might get two on, no, I won't. You see, you'll feel that you can't get hold of it again. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's, it's wire work's one of those things that you just get used to the sort of feel in your pliers and the feel with the wire with your fingers that you've either got the tension there and it's tight enough or you haven't. Um, and it's just literally play you with, make, play you with make the it, wire. You make it like it. That is awesome. You make it look easy. We do like that. <laughs> right, uh, we have to move on. Thank you very much for that. I'm You're going to take welcome. those uh, with me because I might have those for later. I've been old them like that. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, we're going to show you something. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> And then Madonna said, I'm going to use that idea. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, welcome to the showstopper. Uh, the showstopper that we've got, the findings. The findings. I had 50% chance of getting that right, and I picked the right one. Uh, thank you, Sarah, by the way. Round of applause, Sarah. Yep. There we are. There we are. <laughs> We're loving, loving that. We like that. We like that. We like, um, uh, yeah, I, like, I like the bracelets. Uh, now then, we have got here, um, your, um, I don't need to take all these out, do I? Do I need to know? No, we've got a picture of them. We've got a picture of them. Do you want me to take them out? <laughs> no? Uh, okay, brand new today. We're going to show you, here we go, here we go. Everything, that's a much better job than I could do. This is your stasher offer. Now the idea of this is to, uh, is to increase, is to increase your findings collection. Uh, you have got uh, gold, well are we all right? Oh, I thought you were you, you, you sounded worried in there for a minute, uh, in my ear. Uh, Gold-plated copper findings are 46 pieces. Silver-plated copper findings are 100 pieces. Uh, right, okay. Um, and you can see everything you get there. As Sarah, Sarah, now those, um, I'm looking at those, I can see, I can see earrings in there. Yep, I you've got shepherd's pieces. hooks, you've got chandelier, in the silver you've got your shepherd's hooks, the chandelier earring findings, your spacer beads, uh, crimp covers, crimps, uh, jump rings, uh, toggle clasps, eye pins, head pins and a chain. And in your gold selection you've got a uh, chain, you've got your sort of chandelier findings, your fancy spacers, in rounds, ovals, squares. Uh, the floral shepherd's hooks, uh, the three toggle clasps, jump rings, and the um, they are like a spiral spacer bead. Those ones at the bottom, ten of those. And that's why Sarah's here. Because <laughs> someone's just put 46 pieces and 100 pieces of gold-plated <laughs> copper findings and silver-plated copper findings pack. And if you saw the look of fear in my <laughs> eyes, that's because there was a look of fear in my <laughs> eyes going, oh my goodness, there's a lot in it and I've got no idea what half of them is. Uh, over half the stock has already been allocated. Let's bring that price, doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, £9.95 for all those findings. It's, all those findings. It's an amazing deal. I mean, you can never have too many findings. You're going to use them. You need them. They're the mechanics of your jewellery making. Um, you know, and if you're not a wire worker, these are great because you can just use jump rings and use those uh, yeah. connectors and the chain. And you end up with really, really classy, high-end, beautiful looking jewellery that is going to fly or you're going to be proud to give as a gift. Now see, I looked at this, uh, it's called Stasher Offer. Now Dee, I hate to disagree with you and all that, you know, but um, I think this this should be restocker really, shouldn't it? Can I get a re, can I get a re, can I get a restock of all my findings? <laughs> yes you can, right here, £9.95. If you're running low and you're looking through and you're thinking what do I need, well I pretty much need a bit of everything. Yeah. Um, you've got a bit of it, you've got a little bit of everything, less than 20 of these left, £9.95, less than 20 less than 15 of these now they're going they're going they're going at nine pounds 95 can I get can I get can I get can I get a re, re, restock of all my findings yes you can for nine pounds 95 and that was for you D just for you uh, 995 your stasher offer a um, hundred so there's 146 pieces isn't it 146 pieces uh, Claire come on Claire. <laughs> Good math, says Claire. Was it because I added 146 together? Yeah, thanks for that, Claire. Uh, less than, how are we looking? Single figures. Oh, the single figures. Oh, the single figures. That's a, that's a goner. Um, 
It's a brand new strand, it's a brand new strand from me to you. And when you get it home, you can tell your friends that you brought it from Lucy's husband, I'm Drew. Uh, new today, a uh, brand new spanking piece today, uh, 0800 644 It's a lovely colour, isn't it? A beautiful, beautiful colour, uh, like a blue lagoon. Blue Lagoon, 0800 Do you remember the movie, the first movie, Blue Lagoon, the first time out? I don't think I remember it the second time round. Yeah, yeah. uh, the, the only reason I remember Blue Lagoon, because it was, it was something like an R18, I think, back in the day. And my brother, on his 18th birthday, went to see Blue Lagoon. They wouldn't let him in because they thought he wasn't old enough. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 0800, I think it's Scandon for life. Uh, 0800 644 655. Uh, brand spanking new. This is your blue colour coated quartz in your plain ovals. Again, we've done very well on the pastel colours this evening, I think. Yeah, but that's a little bit deeper than pastel, isn't it? It's got a bit more. Oh, controversial. A bit more zing. Controversial. Um, it's, it's sort of sweetie colour. Uh, a sort of a sweetie blue, a yeah. sweetie blue, a blue colour. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beg to differ. It's the first time I've begged to differ with uh, Sarah <laughs> this evening. Um, I'm, yeah, okay, it's darker than pastel. Uh, brand new today. Oh eight hundred six two. I've, I've got to be nice to Sarah, otherwise she just won't tell me anything for the rest <laughs> of the night. Oh uh, eight hundred six triple four six double five. It's brand spanking new. Your blue colour coated quartz. And we're going what for a brand new strand. For a brand new strand, we are going under ten pounds. Under ten pounds. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Eight pounds ninety-five for your blue colour quartz. Again, you've got this beautiful uh, dyed quartz. And uh, what happens is when you get these uh, a lot of little um, inclusions within the gemstone, the dye sort of sucks into them. So you get these lovely lines that run, these little veins of colour that run through the gemstones. And made, uh, again, making every single one individual, every single one unique. Eight pounds and 95 pence. 0800 644 your blue colour coated quartz. Uh, if you would like to own it, it's on the web, but only for about 25 minutes. About 20, where's the night gone? Where's the night? Right, uh, let's go. We're going to have to be quick. Can we do some quick ones? All right, let's do some quick ones. You've got one minute. You got one minute. This is Tanzanite, limited stock, 45 carats of Tanzanite, graduated plain, irregular ovals here. Uh, price slash straight down, straight down, 1795 is where we should be, but we're going even lower. How about for the last few? 12 pounds 95 for tanzanite graduated plain irregular ovals here 45 carats of your tanzanite in there lovely colors 12 pounds 95 uh, if you would like to grab hold of those you need to jump on the line there uh, be quick be quick be quick right next uh, box 21 or oh, is there a box 21 was this draw gonna fall out if I gr hang on here we go uh, box 21 ho 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 Wow, wow, a little bit more considered, but we're low on stock on these. And uh, I would assume you don't see these every day of the week either. Um, incredible quality. Oh, wow, how close can we get up on those? They are amazing. Look at the quality of those. Lovely. Uh, Briolet, do you call them Briolet? Uh, graduated faceted drops. I'd call that a Briolet drop, I would, with a, a beautiful finish amazing finish on those there they are absolutely stunning very low stock um, again a little bit more considered um, but again they are absolutely gorgeous these are quality 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 pieces that is eye clean and again i spoke about loop clean gemstones which is if you look at them through an eye loop 10 times magnification uh, you'd find it very difficult uh, to see inclusions and these are certainly certainly uh, loop clean i would think uh, low stock on these very limited um, they're a little bit more considered but you've got top quality top quality sky blue 55 carats of your sky blue topaz and your graduated faceted drops uh, that's some quality in those sarah isn't it it is and just keep it simple with those i think because they're so beautiful you really wouldn't want to swamp them just put them in some beautiful sterling silver yeah 
maybe just hanging them, draping from chain, yeah. around the neckline. Take two of the smaller ones and make a beautiful pair of matching earrings. And you can't go wrong, really can't go wrong. And it's gonna look Gorgeous. like you've gone to one of the high-end boutique stores in London, on Bond Street, and bought a piece of jewelry that's gonna cost you four figures. They are crisp and clear and beautiful two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen and at nineteen individual so nineteen individual pieces on there and if you take the center i mean i take this little selection here you know these are good size two four six eight ten so you're getting and i'm i'm being very cautious here you're getting ten really good size pieces so you've got ten pieces of jewelry there uh, and we haven't even taken into account uh, the smaller relays on the on the end there as well and twenty four ninety five um that is that is beautiful uh we're gonna have to leave that and move on uh, and go on to box 11, box 11. Oh, by the way, I can give you these back uh, when you've got a chance as well. Uh, if you want your wire, we did a, a massive wire deal uh, earlier on, 300 meters of your wire there. Uh, buy two, get one free, buy two, get one free. Uh, those are now going back in the box, getting uh, limited on that uh, brand new piece today. Uh, here we have your 85 carats of the Amethyst graduated again. Uh, lovely, lovely, these are a, a little bit more, so you call these uh, graduated faceted irregular drops as well were the last ones irregular drops as well um, I think they were weren't they because these are uh, these are, are like a little flattened what, what's those what's those chocolate sweets with the with they're like little um, drops with the bottoms on them with a the little tag in them oh the uh, Hershey's kisses those are the ones yeah, they're like little kisses <laughs> these aren't they because a little, a little flat bottom on the bottom there uh, other chocolates are available. We're right, because we're right, I love Hershey's Kishes. Uh, <laughs> Hershey's Kishes. I haven't been drinking, I promise. Um, 0800 you've got your beautiful uh, Amethyst Graduated Faceted Irregular Drops. What was that, sorry, D? Oh, here we go. Are you ready? Boom, boom, shake the room. Tick, tick, tick. Price boom. Nine pounds and 95 pence. Uh, and again, it's sort of the same. Now, these aren't, aren't as crisp, as clear as the topaz, but you've got amazing color. And what a price, 9.95. I know. I, Amethyst is one of my favorites for making jewelry from, and I always gasp at the prices because I can remember buying Amethyst, even from Jewelry Maker when it first started, and the prices now just shock me. They are yeah. so much lower, yeah. and the, the gemstones coming through, we're getting so many different cuts, and the quality is absolutely amazing, as it's always been. But just the prices, they're getting better and better, and I, I just don't know how Jewelry Maker's doing it for, for Amethyst, because it's just and one it's of those. And it's one of those gemstones that everybody knows. And what I love about, and I always see this when I sell the jewelry as well, is that people who come to your stall mm -hmm. to buy your jewelry they know the price of amethyst because you can yes. see amethyst every single day and some of the gemstones we have are incredibly rare incredibly difficult to source and you don't see them on the high street you can see the price of amethyst on the high street uh, and they're really going to compare those prices especially when you're selling amethyst drops such as this you know for, for 10 15 20 pounds uh, for your for your pieces of jewelry and uh, uh, and and you've got this sort of quality and nine pounds 95 for all these Lots of pieces, of and they're all really, really good sizes. Uh, 20 minutes on show. We're going to have to whiz through this. Low in stock on that. Uh, 9.95. Uh, box number one. Uh, this is your tiger's eye, isn't it? Is that right? Tiger's eye. See, I've never seen unpolished uh, tiger's eye. This is your rough nuggets of your tiger's eye. And what amazes me on these is you can still see the chatoyancy uh, on these, can't you? Which, no. I would never have thought that you could in a, um, in, in a rough nugget, but it's, it just shows you the impact of those little fibrous crystals below the surface of the gemstone. They give you that wonderful golden flash across these. I know, and these are very, very easy to make metals jewellery from. They're very easy if you just want to have one of those. Again, if you got the leather cord earlier. I was going to say, if you got the kit earlier as well, that's yes. the Wild Savannah. It's going to go with that kit very Indeed, well, isn't it? Indeed, it will. Um, and you can just make very easy to wear masculine jewellery. But again, you can put this with all your gold findings, have it dripping in those gold findings, and yeah. take on that sort of, have that um, natural, and then the shine from the yeah. findings, and have yeah. that mix. And I think that works really well, because people can still see that this is a real genuine gemstone, it's just in the natural format. Yeah, yeah. And it's just a really nice way to work with gems. And you get that little flash of gold 
in these as well, don't you? Which uh, again you goes do. very well. And plus, I think they good quite nice with the antique copper as well. Oh yes, uh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, right, uh, low stock, low stock, <coughs> six pounds ninety-five, six pounds ninety-five on that. Uh, Five hundred carats of your tiger's eye. Uh, a lot there. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, uh, twenty-six individual uh, gemstones, and that one for six pounds ninety-five. Right, uh, we're moving through box number sixteen. Don't forget, if you want anything uh, that you've seen, uh, you need to grab it because. Uh, I think you've only got till the end of the hour, haven't you? So anything you've seen, you're gonna have to be quick. Um, you know, I think this. I don't know who. I, I don't know who. Oh, we got the night owl coming up soon as well. I don't know who come up with these ideas, but these are great for these uh, um, little. Uh, what do you call these? Uh, bead scoops, little bead scoops, that's the one. Uh, you've got a collection here, uh, deluxe gem collection of uh, 215 uh, carats of semi-precious uh, faceted beads. Uh, I can probably see, I, would say, I can definitely see Labradorite in there. I can see uh, Citrine, uh, looks like pre night sort of colors. Definitely Amethyst in there as well. Um, some there, there's some really nice Labradorite actually coming out of those. Really nice. I don't know if you can see that. You might not see it on the. But look at that. See, see the Labradorescence coming. Classic Labradorescence. You've got that all the way through this collection. There's another one there in the centre. Uh, lovely look. Low stock on these. Let's get the price down. Uh, get as many pieces in as we can. Price slash 14.95 is where it should be. Is where it should be. Doodly do, doodly do, doodly do. Eleven pounds ninety-five. Uh, that is your deluxe gem selection. Your deluxe gem selection. Uh, Eleven pounds and ninety-five pence on that. Now, uh, where would you like to go? Uh, box number fourteen. When are we going to do the night owl? Gonna be some sweet sounds coming down on the night owl. Oh, oh, that was a close one then. Uh, the <laughs> we nearly got no ooh. Uh, this is uh, your uh, shaded smoky quartz. Beautiful smoky quartz. So you've got this uh, wonderful opaque looking bit of that lovely uh, dark browns. Again, go very well with the kit from earlier. Uh, this is uh, low stock though. I'm uh, going to give you a great price on this. 25 carats of a shade of smoky quartz graduated faceted rundown. £6.95. £6.95. Uh, there's so many gemstones. So many, so many pieces in this. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. There's 20 in that little area there. So if I gradually pull my finger across there, you can see you have got a lot. I can't believe you're actually trying to count them, uh, Claire, as I'm doing that. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say over 100. Over 100. Uh, six pounds ninety-five. Um, oh, eight hundred six triple four six double five. I'm going to say around a hundred on uh, on there. Claire's going to say around two hundred. So uh, uh, if you want to complain that you don't get two hundred, her name's Claire, uh, and she, no, not really. Um, where are we going? Box number eighteen. Box number eighteen. Multicolored sapphires. Faceted pairs of multicolored sapphires. Wow, wow! Uh, this uh, this has got to be. I mean, I, I, I'm assuming this is going to be a little bit considered. This one. Uh, this is a lovely selection of your multicolored sapphires. There, look at those colors. Very nice indeed. Uh, if you want anything in the hours, then you need to grab it because we got about 15 minutes on the show. 15 minutes on the show where does the time go where does the time go it's like it's like a vortex of time in jewelry maker <laughs> have you noticed yes. that uh, uh, anyway uh, low stock on these low stock oh, 0800 uh, i always feel i look a bit younger when i come out of jewelry maker i think that's probably you know, maybe that's why uh 27 pounds and 95 pence multicolor sapphire your corundum uh many different colors of course every color under the sun in corundum except for red because red corundum is ruby 
Ruby, 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 Ruby. Uh, so you've got here a little, you've got little flashes of reds in here. So basically, I mean, look at that. That's, you know, uh, in some places they'd be calling that Ruby. We've called these Sapphires. Uh, you've got another one there, lovely deep rich red color in there. Um, do you get much Ruby? Do you get much Ruby? Uh, we didn't get it. Every, every just every now and again. Yeah, yeah, but it's not one that we get lots and lots of again it's and always always been set in the jewelry isn't it uh 27.95 on that a box 26 oh sorry sorry i just completely pulled that out of shot then uh box number 26 or 20 20. i tell you we're taking you to the 17s 17s uh go take to the 70s is what i meant to say with your discos oh Check out these little disco babies. I like the nightlife, I like the party on the disco. Ha ha ha. Started too high then. Uh, this <laughs> is 450 carats of golden color coated uh, Akimatite faceted rounds. I've got a disco ball in my shed. Have you? Yeah, it's just one that I had left over from somewhere. I don't know where, where it's come from, so I've just hung it up on my shed. <laughs> it's quite random when people come into my shed. It's not really the sort of thing you expect to see. Uh, now then, um, but that's what a man shed's for, see? Yeah. You just have a man shed, Mike, you know? You'll be, yeah. um, you can put anything in there. Uh, disco balls, whatever. Uh, I've got here a lovely faceted uh, golden color-coated hematite. Every everybody wants to look at my shed now, don't they? Yeah, see what else is in there. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Uh, six pounds ninety-five. Again, quick count on these. How many do you think is on these, Claire? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four, for, uh, around just just shy of fifty. Just shy of fifty. Uh, Claire, you were close. Uh, six pounds ninety-five. Um, uh, no, you weren't. I just said that to make you feel good. Uh, six pounds ninety-five. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Wonderful gold flash. Six pounds ninety-five on those there. If you want to grab those, uh, box number nine. Uh, your bicolor lemon quartz. Bicolor lemon quartz. I do like my bicolor gemstones. I'd lovely bicolor citrine on this morning actually. Uh, this is your your lemon quartz. You've got little uh, flashes of almost like a, like smoky sort of colours in here as well. Uh, beautiful, beautiful quartz. Hey, look at that. They are lovely. And you've got all these individual facets here as well. So as you turn, you can see the light catching those pieces. Uh, these would be good for uh, earrings. A nice, nice little drop with uh, maybe a little... We could have these as the end, really, couldn't you? We could. I mean, they're great for, for connectors, they're great for spaces, you know, yeah. they're great for all of those sorts of features. So you've, you've got lots of scope with those, and I like the shape, because they're just really unusual. I know, and all those facets on there as well are really going to catch that yeah. light as they turn, as they move through. You can see they're just sort of catching, uh, catching the light on there as well. A price slash on there should be $14.95 not on my watch uh, $14.95 bringing the price down big carat weight 80 carats in your bicolor lemon quartz faceted tubes uh, 12 by 6 and 15 by 7 millimeters on that uh, once again if you want anything that you've uh, that you've seen over the last four hours then you really 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 need to grab it you really need to grab it because you've got less than 10 minutes Less than 10 minutes. I tell you, it's manic in the last half hour, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, it's going. 11.95, 11 pounds 95. Uh, if you want to come in and grab these, uh, last chance, last opportunity, <coughs> price slash on those. Uh, now then, uh, box number 17. Box number 17. Uh, you have got your blue color coated chow sydney and a real sort of a uh, uh, vitreous luster uh, to these these again are gorgeous sort of not really the best color to have by let me hold that up there uh, there we go that might look a little bit better uh, and you can see these individual pieces again nice and flat so for um for spacing in between maybe if you want to join uh some uh, you know some sort of thinner style beads together with these so they're, they're going to sit nice and flat on the top aren't they again, the beautiful 
stack on top of each other. Take the smallest one, go down a little bit, take a little bit bigger, and then a little bit bigger, and stack those as earrings. They look amazing. Oh, okay, yeah, just really simple to do very, as well. Very, very simple. So is simple. that on a, on a head, on a flat head pin? Sort on of a head thing, pin, is it? Yeah. yeah. And if you want to add a bit of chain, if you use uh, one of the eye pins, you can just okay. add a little bit of chain. Similar to what you did in, the, in, in your piece from yes. earlier on. Yeah. Uh, very simple price session. I'm getting lower and lower. I don't know why. I think this chair is getting <laughs> further and further away. Um, I haven't got. I haven't got an affliction. I'm going down like this. Um, I think my chair sliding on the floor. Um, live TV for you. Ooh. Uh, Six ninety-five. Shouldn't have done that. My age. Twenty-eight. Uh, Nine pounds ninety-five. And we're going to slash this down. Hang on. What price were we at? Nine ninety-five. I know nothing at uh, seven pounds and 95 pence. Uh, let me have a, have a quick count of these. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Um, around 30, around 30 in these here. I'm going to drop that board now because my thumb's gone to sleep. Uh, seven pounds, uh, seven pounds 95 for your blue color coated Charles Sydney graduated plain rondelles. They are beautiful color. Uh, seven ninety five. if you want those. Right, uh, box number two. Oh, 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 I tell you, get your Harry Potter stuff out again for these, sir. <laughs> Look at these. Wow. Wow, you could do some proper wire work on the top of these, couldn't you? You can, and they're just really great to have. Um, I have used these before and just used lots and lots of the sort of different threading materials, so suede and the leather and your chains, and just make really beautiful necklaces out of them. Um, and you can, you know, you might only want to use one because they are quite substantial. Yeah, yeah. They are quite impact pieces. Yeah. Um, but again, if you're if if you're new to wire working, go simple. You don't have to do anything. Uh, there's been a couple of demonstrations really uh, recently with the thumb swirls, where you do the swirling underneath your thumb with the wire over the gemstones. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. a really nice technique. That's a really good one for beginners for wire work, and you get an individual design. So you're just design. basically putting pressure down on the wire and, and yeah. spinning it around. So if you put your thumb on the gemstone, you actually take the wire and keep your thumb uh, on yeah, top yeah, of the gemstone yeah, 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 and I, swirl it yeah. around underneath. Anchor it like I did with the uh, lightning. Yeah. Uh, bolts and your pendants made very easy. Look at that. So, and you've got uh, seven individual pieces. They're eight pounds forty-five, uh, but we're going lower. But we're going lower. I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> so, something about this. I keep doing that. Um, six pounds ninety-five. Look at that. Oh, he's got. He's got a hunchback. Uh, six pounds ninety-five. Oh, eight hundred six four six double five. Uh, six pounds ninety-five for all of those. That is amazing. Poppy agate rectangles, fifty by twenty-six. We've got one more before the night owl. One more. Uh, box number nineteen. Canary sapphires. Wow. Canary sapphires. Before we go to the night owl. Look at this, wonderful sparkle, gorgeous luster. And there's a lot going on here as well. And they're just between my fingers I have got, let's count out 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's about 10 there. Now, if I just show you exactly how wide we go on this, you can see that you've got a huge, huge selection within that one piece. That is a massive, massive strand. Nice depth of field, Mike. Nice depth of field. Uh, you get that uh, massive strand of, uh, of sapphire there. Uh, beautiful, beautiful sparkle. Uh, 0800 644 655. It's the last piece before the night owl. We're going to have to be very quick on the night owl, aren't we? I nearly, nearly went, ooh. Oh, because so, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, we'll do it before it comes on. We'll yeah. do it before it comes on. Uh, £29.95 and pence. If you'd like to do that, grab that. Um, because coming up, going to be some sweet sounds coming down on the night owl. Ooh. The night owl. There we go. Uh, <laughs> now then. Uh, the <laughs> Do not go anywhere. Uh, don't forget, you've only got five minutes left for everything in the last four hours. So have a quick look through and come and check out what we're about to bring you on the Night Owl.
That was the quickest break ever into the night. That we like that. That owl was flying. He was on a he was on a mission. That owl, wasn't he? Uh, this is uh, your beautiful piece. We're going to finish the show with this this evening. Uh, your night owl. Uh, you have got here. Uh, these beautiful, again, if you're going to do that wire work on these, this is going to be absolutely perfect. You've got these uh, lovely, large, faceted surfaces on these. Uh, aquamarine uh, with your graduated uh, faceted nuggets. So we've got four minutes, four minutes on these. Again, big locks, big pieces, brand new in today. 0800-644-655. Uh, if you'd like to get involved, we're going, can I say that? We're going under 15, under 15 pounds. Aquamarine, your blue barrel, so colored by the presence of iron, your aquamarine, uh, comes from the words for water of the sea. Uh, it doesn't mean underwater soldier, as some people think. Um, if you would like to get involved, 0800 655 uh, it is your opportunity to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, approximately 14, uh, 14 pieces in here, 130 carats. Uh, all these are regular shapes. Again, we were talking about earrings before, weren't we? Um, and the, as long as you've got similar colours and, and, you know, similar sort of shape. Honestly, it doesn't matter. You won't put them both together unless you're selling them, and you'll have them both next yeah, to each other. That's yeah. the only time they're ever going to sit next to each other. Yeah. So it really doesn't matter. As long as they're a similar hue um, or a similar size, it really will really matter on earrings. And again, if you're making charms from these, it's great to have that irregularity. You can just use these, have five on a piece of sterling silver chain, uh, which come in some of our kits, so you can get it from the website. Just hanging beautifully, little wire wrapping, and they're gorgeous, really easy Perfect. to wear. Absolutely, and aquamarine as well. I know. Aquamarine, uh, under 15 pounds we're going. I will tell you, we're gonna have to be quick on these. Uh, well, that's well under 15 pounds. 11 pounds 95 uh, for the night out. 11 pounds 95 on that. Uh, that's our night out piece. Uh, what a fantab what a fantabulous way uh, to finish the show at 11 pounds 95 on that for aquamarine. A big strand of aquamarine there. Uh, now, if you are on the line, please do hold on to the line. Uh, there is a little bit of a queue on there, but if you are if you are waiting, uh, you can still get this. If the show finishes, they can still get they can still get this can't you yeah you can still get this hang on to the line hang on to the line 11 pounds 95 aquamarine graduated faceted nuggets i've had a great time once again i do love coming to jewelry maker i do love coming to jewelry maker um oh eight six triple four uh six double five oh okay so people have texted in, so we've got time uh so we're just going to do box 12 ever so quickly ever so quickly uh, box 12. Someone's just text in to see if we've got this. We have. Uh, while you're looking at this, should we get them on quickly, get the price on? And while we're saying that, I'm going to say thank you very much to Sarah for this evening. Um, I don't know if you knew I was going to be your presenter this evening, Sarah, but... Uh, I did know. <laughs> and then when you weren't here, I was a bit worried. <laughs> uh, uh, see, Sarah knew, but I didn't know. <laughs> So there we go, and that's how we roll uh, here, <laughs> really. Uh, everybody else knows what everyone else is doing except for the person who's supposed to be doing it. Uh, that's what happened this evening. I just totally forgot that I was... Uh, can we not do this? No, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone, so we can't do that. We can't do that. Uh, yeah, so uh, thanks very much. Again, you've been a great help. My uh, uh, my designers that are here with me, well, I say my designers, I've only had Mark before, but uh, Sarah, you've been brilliant tonight. Thank you. Uh, so uh, thanks for some great tips there as well. I uh, had some lovely pieces on this evening. Thank you very so, much. So, uh, yeah, yeah, very nice. Loving your work. Like I say, I do have my favourites there with the uh, um, uh, with the bracelets. <laughs> um, if you want to get anything, remember to stay on the line. Um, we'll be with you again at 9 o'clock in the morning. But from us, and Sarah, uh, thank you very much from all of us here. Good night. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the on air now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, 
you simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one PNP. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Maker. Um, just checking that you've got my microphone or not, are you? Yeah, I'm definitely on. <laughs> 